Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we're getting it all in Road 96. Now this was developed by Digix Art, published by Raven's Court and Merge Games and is usually available for $15.99 but is free right now on Xbox Game Pass. So, quick few notes here, your game will be different to mine in terms of level order. Now the levels themselves are the same, they only take about 8 to 10 minutes or so, but the order in which they play a doubt will be different. So it will be best to pause your game, search through my timestamps and go from there. Now in each timestamp I've also put what you should find in the level, whether that's a miscellaneous achievement, some cassette tapes, new abilities etc. Uh, again, speaking of tapes, there are 18 to collect, but there will be loads more on different levels. So again, don't panic if you don't have the same as me or anything. A few are randomized, but the majority should be in the same place as you see uh, in the guide. Also note, you can die and get arrested, but it's okay. Now normally, you would play six episodes, but if you do end up dying or get arrested, you can just play another episode. Uh, basically, 10 is the max, so if you keep dying, just don't worry about it again. You can't actually miss completing the game. Uh, this playthrough, I will show you how to get through them without dying or being arrested anyway. So, I think that's the basis covered. We're looking at around 6 to 7 hours for completion. Miscellaneous achievements are all easy too. So, with that being said then, let's begin. So, obviously we start a new game as always, but these next few questions you can answer literally whatever you like. So, it, there's nothing too specific here. Answer however you like, whatever you like. But I will... Um, I'll just quickly explain again here. Now, I do think I got all levels done for this walkthrough, but there may be one or two missing. So basically, after the after I completed the game, I played for a long while on New Game Plus and only got two new levels that I hadn't done. So if that's the case and you're looking for a level which isn't on here, uh, just search Road 96 and whatever level it is on YouTube, I think there's a guy who has done an all individual guides for each level, so kudos to him. But big apologies if I did end up missing a level or three there. Again though, there are more levels than tapes, so you should be able to grab all tapes no problem. And if you can do the six episodes, you won't even need to do all the levels. So that is, like I said, that is the majority done. Again, the major thing is, the levels play out all the same, but they will be completely different in your playthrough. Um, and again, the only things, the only other things that are randomised in the levels are pretty much if a tape is there and if a tape is not. Um, so, but this is a solid 2 out of 10 for difficulty, so you should get all achievements with no problems. I'll obviously be explaining when we get there. Uh, a lot of the time though, I won't be explaining everything um, dialogue-y. Because uh, there's a lot of times you'll just be talking and choosing, you know, sort of basically any, um, any dialogue option that you sort of want. Um, obviously I'll explain as we go through, just so you've got a bit of an idea, but we're going to skip uh, this first cutscene, we're not going to bother with this first cutscene, skip it. And this is where the first, once again, the first random levels coming in. So, bottom right there, they are all the characters that we are going to meet, the bottom left are all the abilities that we're going to be grabbing, and we are 1,707 miles from the border. Again, the number's going to be different for you, don't worry about that, that makes near but a difference. So let's press anybody to start. Now for me it was a view to kill, so of course, pause the gate, pause your game, have a look at my timestamps and see what level it is. As we begin here though, we're going to turn immediately around, press the A button to look in the bag and grab our first tape. Now this tape will always be in the bag, so as soon as you begin the uh, this level, have a look in the bag to get tape number one. Now uh, use the right stick there to move your cursor. We are meeting Stan and Mitch. Now these are generally two of my most favourite characters in the game. Because they are dopey as hell, which remind, kind of reminds me of me. Now, a lot of the time, in terms of dialogue options, um, we're basically just going to be saying, you know, all of the nice things. A lot of the time, it's just going to be uh, the sort of top dialogue option. Now, I'm obviously not going to keep going on and saying, pick this option, pick this option, pick this option. Um, you know, hopefully the pace of the guide is well enough so that you can see what's going on. And you can just pick the same as me. You know... For the majority, try and pick the same dialogue options as me. Uh, again, a lot of the time it doesn't matter because they sort of... If you pick a different one to me, they'll sort of say one different line of dialogue and then for the next uh, line of dialogue, they'll basically just uh, go back to saying the exact same thing uh, as it would be on your screen. So, you know, don't worry too much if you've picked, you know, uh, something other than what, what I've picked, especially in this kind of uh, talking. Again, sometimes there will be times where 
we need to speak, uh, pick specific dialogue options, which of course I will always be letting you know. Uh, but as you can see, for now, I'm just picking the top option, which is kind of like, you know, quote unquote, the nicest option, if you will. Um, yeah, so there's not much. Now, when these questions may, may be different here, when a character asks, do you want to ask us a question? It's going to be random for you. But again, it doesn't matter. You can pick whatever it is that you want. But then, with these ones, you can see there what it says, maybe you won't if Flores wins. Now, for a lot of the time, we will be either choosing the fist option or the uh, voting option with Flores. Um, now, basically, this is a kind of, well, this is a very political game, as you'll be able to see in just a bit. So, since we are playing as teenagers... Um, we're gonna need Flores to win, but again, I'll explain that in just a little bit. So this is our first sort of mini game. Then uh, we're just gonna be literally pressing the mini games in this game are particularly easy as well. So what we're gonna be doing then is pressing left and right, and in just a moment we're gonna be doing this and avoiding all the traffic. So again, with all dialogue options, then just you know choose stuff like that was good. You know, basically all very positive sort of stuff if you can. Um, but again. I'm not going to be talking through all of this. Sorry that I've mumbled on for this particular bit. Uh, but I'm just trying to explain as quick as I can. Uh, so, you know. I mean, it's pretty easy to get used to, but, you know. So, Stan and Mitch with the condoms on their head, for some reason. It literally, looks like they do look like cat condoms, hilariously. So, this is the first mini game then. So, all we've got to do is press left and right and just try to avoid damaging your sidecar too much. Avoid, try not to die. Symbols, right? Get him, Stan! So there we go, then that one is done, now we're basically going to be seeing that character as well, uh, quite a lot through. We are going to pick a specific dialogue option in just a moment. So again, apologies that I'm keeping going on about the dialogue, but as I said, for a lot of the time we're just going to be picking options that are, you know, very positive and sort of, yeah, let's do this and stuff like that. But for this one we're going to choose skinny guy wearing a hat. So choose the top option there, skinny guy wearing a hat. And then we've uncovered the killer's appearance. So just make sure to choose that one and then we're all good. Again, each level, as I said earlier, may last between 8 to 10, maybe 12 minutes. Uh, but a lot of the time, it's just... The, the, the game on a whole is just very easy. All the levels are easy enough. Um, but again, it's just a case of... <laughs> random, completely random order, which is hilarious. I did not... Besides, I didn't see you get off the bike. You were scared. I was not scared. Kid's right. Uh, let's look on the bright side. We're getting closer. We are. We almost got that psycho this time. Stand and match! What do you want to do now, little lady? Yeah. 
Suit yourself, kid. And so with that level done then, again you're going to see a random number on screen for you. It literally, it honestly does not matter um, if you're further away or closer than I am. Uh, so as you can see there, we've already met Stan and Mitch, my two favourite characters in the game. Uh, so we're going to start the next level. Now this bar that's going down right here, that is your energy bar. So to get energy, we can sleep on, on obviously cardboard and beds and stuff. Uh, as we begin the second level here, video will kill the radio star. Um, you can eat food and drink drinks in order to get your energy bar up. Obviously, if your energy goes, you will die and you'll have to do an extra episode. So, let's not do that, is it? So, as we begin anyway, we're going to press the right trigger to run as well. And we are going to be grabbing the second cassette in this level. A second cassette for me, it might be a bit less, might be a bit more for you. But I'm telling you now, it's not going to be in that trash can, even though for some reason we can't just use our hand to pick it up. But anyway, go to the right here, interact with this abandoned car, open it up there, and the second cassette tape will be there, eject. Now, I, I, I'm not sure if that's a random one, or if it's going to be there every single time, um, but that is where it was for me anyway, so hopefully it'll be there for you. So, as you can see there, in the collectibles, we've now got 2 out of 18. Now, like I said, remember, there are more levels, or there are more tapes than levels, so you should, so don't think, if you don't get that one particularly, don't worry, you'll have plenty of opportunities yet. So, uh, a little bit of cutscene dialogue once again. Uh, guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? Of course I'm listening to you. Right, anyway, we're going to head down here, and this is where we meet another character for the first time, Sonia, who is single-handedly the most annoying uh, character in the game, but kind of entertaining at the same time. So there she is. Now this whole game honestly just reminds me of Sony reminds me of the BBC, you know, licking Tory's uh, licking the Conservatives and Tory's butts. And of course, as as we're able to see, um, we're going to see this is basically the Conservatives versus Labour, uh, UK style or Democrats versus the other one in America. And I'm, I'm not very good with American politics. Uh, but basically, Donald Trump, where he wants to, you know, take over the world and stuff, because he thinks he's an awesome villain. Anyway, we're at the camera. Again, another very easy mini game. We're gonna. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Sonia got that shake, man. Uh, but there is Sonia. She's gonna just keep talking. Again, a lot of the times we're just gonna be t picking the top dialogue option. This again, this will be random. These bits of dialogue will be random for you, so you can pick whatever it is that you want. And again, remember what we're going to be picking is either the fist icon or we're going to be picking the voting icon where uh, we're talking about uh, President Flores or whatever it is about Flores. But this time we're not actually going to say anything. We're going to say Mount National, get out of here. Um, yeah, so picking those specific options actually does affect the outcome of the uh, presidential race. Presidential, uh, <laughs> President Tyrak. Uh, so... There we go, as long as the reticle is green, Sonia will uh, just carry on talking her talking self and she'll go from really annoying squeaky voice to extremely professional, which is basically every chav in Britain, if they're on the phone. Oh, buddy, what are you doing over here? Hello, this is uh, Dr. Watsimakalda. How, how'd you go from that voice to that voice? So, anyway, Sonia's gonna keep on talking. She's also gonna give us our first ability here. Um... So again, like I said, in ter I said it before, but in terms of those dialogue options, we're all just going to go for the positive, the sort of nice options, rather than, are you going to pay me? Oh, I don't like that. Normally, it's the second option, which is like the negative response, but we're going to go for the positive one, because of course, we want to live and get to Road 96. So there is our first ability, nice and shiny, just like that spot, I just want to pick off Sonya's chin right there. Anyway, uh, we're going to say appreciate you, and now we've, we're going to film the oil minister, who is so far up the president's butt snatch that he's actually grown another head. Um, which again, that's very much like the conservatives in Great Britain. Uh, <laughs> I'll try not to make too too many jokes about it, uh, because people get offended. Don't they? People get offended if you say the conser conservatives are uh, bending us over with Lurpak and sticking it straight up us. Um, so again, what we're going to do then, again, it's a very easy one. We're just going to keep the green reticle here on the chunky old oil minister. And you can press the left trigger to zoom in and out if you want. 
Uh, but basically, just every time that he mentions President Tyrak, we are going to have to cheer. So there it is, cheer on the left. And then every time he mentions Presidential Elect Flores, we're going to boo, which will be on the right. And that's all we're going to do for a couple of minutes, or a minute or two. Jobs. What do you, the hardworking people of Petria, think of Lupe Flores? <laughs> There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising, but am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! <laughs> With that said, who you vote? Tyrak is a liar! Teens are being imprisoned every day! Tyrak is a fascist dictator! Vote for Flores! Save our country! Stop them! Now! Yeah, Jeremy Corbyn's the best! Jeremy Corbyn should have beaten Boris Johnson, but everyone wanted Brexit. B -b 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 Brexit. Get rid of all the foreigners, you know. <laughs> all the gammons like that, don't they? Uh, but no, they are going to get beaten the crap out of right there, and this is basically the end of this part. Is that how easy it is to make money from just being a uh, camera operator? Then I am in! Right, so uh, we're basically all done with this level now. So yeah, totally. Again, it's always going to be, as I said, the, the top option. So um, yeah, again, doesn't matter though... For these ones, if you pick the bottom one, we'll always end up in the same sort of boat. Again, that'll be the last time I'll mention that, so <laughs> I, I will shut up. But she does give us 50 squids, or 50 dollar do so you can't beat it. That's a, that's a very easy five minutes work right there. So, with that one, let's roll, squeaky old Chav Sonia. Right, so, after every level, we've got... A couple of abilities here. We can either hitchhike, we can catch a taxi, we can catch a bus, or we can just walk along the road. Uh, now, a lot of the times, if you do hitchhike, um, I try and hitchhike a lot of the times. Sometimes it'll work if you do hitchhike. If you see this later scene, it means that we couldn't get a lift. But if you see the sort of road panning out, that means we did. Uh, we were able to get a lift, and you can go on to the next level. If not, that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a couple of miscellaneous achievements. Now, you can go into any phone booth in the game, so it's not specifically tied to this level. Uh, but as long as you've got enough money, because again, that is a part of the randomness as we go to the phone booth, call home. And that's going to get us our first miscellaneous achievement here. Plus, um, we've just lost a dollar. But again, remember, in every level and every playthrough, the energy levels and the money is going to be different. So, uh, again, don't worry about the dialogue options. Pick whatever you want here. So if you actually don't have enough money to either buy a tape or if you don't have enough money to make a phone call or anything like that, again, don't worry about it for now because you will actually replay. You can actually replay the same levels later on um, in New Game Plus. But there are, are, again, a lot of opportunities to get these achievements and uh, for buying tapes later on. So, press the use button and then put in the number 96777. So, choose the, the one, uh, $1 option there for use and then 9677. This is basically donating to the Senator Flores uh, donation fund, which of course is what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to choose $10. As long as you got the $10 to say yes, we're going to do that. And we are going to get the second achievement there called Campaign Funder as well. So again, if you don't have enough money, don't panic. In another playthrough or later on, you will have enough money. And as soon as you see a phone booth, then you can um, have a look at that and do this one later on. Uh, but if you've got enough money, it's always worth to just um, get them done now. So if you want, you can pay $12 -y dues for a taxi. Uh, which again, in this day and age, thanks to the Tories of Britain, which would cost us about £67, uh, but we are just going to pay for a bus. $7 to pay for a bus, $12 to pay for a taxi, or you can just walk along the road. We're paying for a bus, and we go into the next level. Plus, you do rest a little as well, so you get one or two energy bars back. Oh, it's a fun old time. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to the level Stress. Now, again, because this is quite early, we are getting a new character, and her name is Fanny. Yes, Fanny. Now, of course, if you are not from America, Fanny means... Well, everyone knows what Fanny means, but Fanny means butt in America for some reason, and then Fanny means Fanny in uh, everywhere else, so... Anyway, if you've named your kid Fanny, that's goddamn cruel. Um, but anyway, can I ask you something? We just, again, a lot of the dialogue options are pretty much all good. There is a tape here as well. Um, but don't worry, even though it says steal, uh, nobody's going to condemn you or anything, so you can just pick up that one uh, a little bit later. Again, that was the sort of random bit of dialogue, and then we're going to come up to these options. Um, so we are gonna we can either say what kind of case or uh, whichever dialogue option it is, which of course we picked the second one that time. Uh, just curious that we are going to say, again, usually it is the top option, uh, it doesn't really matter though, uh, whichever one you pick, especially as both of those had the same part there. So we're going to steal the tape from the guy, again the tapes are going to be random for you, but that's another tape which should be there uh, a lot of the time. So we're going to speak to um, side baldy guy right here, again choosing any dialogue, pretty much the positive dialogue options again. The Iron Pits. Where are they saying teens caught trying to flee the country? Turn around. And you, stay out of this. Kid, what did I say? Mind your own business. He's not going to end up in the pits. It doesn't even exist. <laughs> Of course he'll see his family. And remind me why I'm telling you this? Then why the missing teen posters? That's just brigade misinformation is all. Oh, you don't really believe that, do you? Huh? Believe what? That the teen work camp doesn't exist. Dun dun dun! Tensions are rising. So, what we're gonna have to do again is of course choose specific dialogue options in order to not get the tension as risen as possible. So, choose she's just doing her job. After what they're doing to teens? Sir! You're doing Tyrex dirty work, and you don't know it! Then next we're gonna choose you should turn around. Kid, stop sticking up for her! Sir, leave the kid alone! Look, I've heard the stories too, but they're false. Fake news! Fake news! Next we're gonna choose the next option of the pure Donald Trump. It is fake news. Tyrek in the back. Great. Sir, I won't tolerate you talking to the girl like that. Understand me? Lucky for me, I'm too old to be set off to the teen work camp. That's enough, sir. Now, both of you, please. Then we are going to choose who made you boss. Boss. Yeah, well, your name's Fanny, so, uh, yeah, you know. Who's the, who's got an irritable Fanny now, huh? <laughs> Where are they? Then next we're going to choose, let's all take a deep breath. Since should be able to arrest cops, you know that? To keep them honest. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Can we pretend you, you never arrested me? Then we're gonna say, that's a good idea, how about just letting us go, fan dog? Actually, it's a good idea. Does anyone know you've arrested him? No, but... Now that's enough! Then we're going to go with the uh, epic Britney Spears meltdown of leave her alone. Just get off at the next stop. That's all you have to do. I'm not going to say it again. Unit 2 to Central. Next, we're going to choose she's doing her job. Fanny's getting a little irritable right here. You need to scratch that thing. Uh, she's just doing her job. <laughs> then we're going to wake up the man who looks like he's had one too many tequilas right next to us here. And then Fanny's gonna start uh, whipping her gun out. And you put that away, it smells. Uh, no, we're gonna say, please, no need for that. You've crossed the line! You need to, this is central. Everything okay? Over? Then choose, do the right thing, please, officer. How about not killing us dead? That'll come in handy. Then, don't tell them about the kid. Unit two, are you there? Unit two here. I just wanted to tell you I had some car trouble. I'm on the bus now. Over. Unit 
You know, too, I... I need a car to pick me up. <laughs> Phew! We didn't get we didn't get uh, shot at by the fanny, which uh, well it always comes in handy. So we're just going to take a little look at the floor here. There should be some money for us to take as well, just a couple of dollars, but it all comes in handy. And then when we look up, we can see you, so the energy bars we can either stay on for a few more, which will only get rid of one energy bar, plus give us more mileage uh, for row ninety six. So that's what we're going to do. Next up then is a Nirvana classic. Smells like teen spirit. And we're going to meet uh, well, one very sassy teen. I mean, they're all sassy since President Tyrak basically wants to get rid of all teens who oppose against him. So as we begin here, immediately what we're going to do is speak to this lady with the pet kitty cat. Can I help you? You're going to vote, right? Yeah. And totally, of course, we're going to vote. Oh, okay. Because I want to eat something more than dictating fascist... Yuck. Um, and then when she stops yammering on, we're going to choose what's the cat's name? Mr. Bottles? <laughs> hey, he's going to bottle it just like Tottenham Hotspur. Um, and then we're going to pet the cat for another achievement. Here we go. Uh, that cat kind of looked dead. It kind of looked like I brought it back to life for a second then. Anyway, that is the cat person achievement done. Then we're going to turn around and start heading up these little bits of steps here. Turn to the right. Uh, well, not that right, sorry, a little bit further on, then right. And then what we're going to see is <laughs> Zoe, our new friend Zoe, sitting on top. So again, just choose the, the same sort of dialogue options that I do around here. It just stole from me and... I didn't do it. Everything's fine. It's not fine. She broke into my office and stole from me. Who the hell are you, kid? Some kind of teen superhero? You teens! I don't need the hassle. I'm out of here. <sighs> you didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. Well, thanks, I guess. Anyway, welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. Then I guess you found your paradise. Always help a damsel in distress, huh? So we're gonna choose where can I sleep for free? Because bro, I ain't spending any money on one of these crappy trailers. I'd rather sleep out under the stars. And uh, then just choose thanks. We're all good, and we will see you in just a bit, Zoe, because we're gonna come up to a little another little miscellaneous achievement. And I believe we can only do that uh, when we sleep on the cardboard. So we turn to the right from Zoe. Also, what you're going to see is a lot of these posters. We're not going to vandalize the Flores ones, only the Tyrak ones. Um, this bit, ah, this bit's quite funny. Papa, baby. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Tyrant. <laughs> funny. Anyway, so from the radio right here, uh, go to the right. And then just stick sort of with this left hand wall. You can see a gap there in between the two sort of trailers. That is where we're going to go. That is where the cardboard is at. Uh, so you can turn the TV off if you want. It literally doesn't make much of a difference at all. Bro is having a hell of a rave. With, I mean, there's nothing else to do really, is it? So, uh, yeah, we'll just leave him rave on. Uh, so past here, past this little camp, whatever it is, the cardboard is right here so we're gonna sleep on the cardboard we're gonna be well rested but zoe is going to wake us up which hey i can, I can take that zoe is freckly and beautiful just like me that's my female version if that was i was a female if that was i was a female yeah that, that's what i meant Open door. hey 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 wake up so come hang out with me 
no plan Thinking I could find a friend Come on, bro, I've walked a long way. All I wanted was a bit of a nap. But uh, hey, for freckly and beautiful, I'll do it. So we're heading up the steps to the right. And we're going to speak to me if I was a female. I know, I know, I'm goddamn hot, right? Me. So what we're going to do, as soon as we can, we're going to blow the fire. Basically, um, chucking some sparks and ashes into Zoe's face. So blow on the fire. That's going to get us another miscellaneous achievement. And we've also just burnt Zoe a bit as well, so job done, the light and the darkness. So again, we are going to be coming into another mini game. so have a little bit of dialogue options here. Again, just choose the same ones that I do. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. A lot of times, actually. It's scary there. With all the security, I traveled there with my father. Or his work. I, I don't know, but it's got to be better than this, no? Sometimes, yeah. But what scares me the most is going back to my old life. But enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Let's play Bella Ciao. So, this is a very easy one. I don't think you can actually fail this. But as soon as we start, I don't think Zoe would be into a trumpetophone. But all you do is just press left up and down on the uh, left stick right there. And you just go in, in with the lines. You don't have to press anything else. Try and go as close as you can, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. So we're going to do this one this time. And then we're going to do it with the music. And, uh, yeah. Rock on, trumpeteers! And not Donald trumpeteers, I meant the, the instrument, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be recording this. <laughs> sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway, but I'm just sorry for you. You're in a hurry to cross. I like that. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, uh, this is for you, to remember. Well, I guess we're not staying here for long then. So, after all that, we will get another tape. This is what you will get regardless anyway. So that's all good. So now you've got a couple of options here. Catch a ride, wait for a bus. Um, this time, I believe, what do I do? I think I wait for a bus this time. Of course, if you leave on foot, you lose three bits of energy. If you catch a ride, you lose no energy, but you don't go as far. But if we catch a taxi, which I do this time, um, not only are we going to rest up very well, so we do get some more energy, we're also going to meet our first character. Shady character. Really you know, gruff in the voice. Like he's been smoking 27 cigarettes a day. And here we go. This is a guy that sounds like he wants to be the next Batman. But it's not. He's just smoking too many fags a day, man. A cigarette, sorry. Sorry, that's offensive now, right? Right, of course. <laughs> Right, go back to normal voice now. Uh, just, just, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, just just listen to him. Bro thinks he's Christian Bale's Batman. But this is Jared, and we're going to come and have a look at his backstory and forward story, apparently, a lot more as well. Um, so again, choose the dialogue options I do for the Mo. We sell scratch. Now, when he offers you a scratch card, do not pay $4. Because you might win, but you're only going to win a dollar back, which is very tyranty. Uh, so yeah, we win, but I've actually lost $3. So don't take a goddamn thing if you want to <laughs> keep your money. <laughs> yes, I feel very happy in this taxi. Not creepy and like my butt's going to get stabbed or anything. Hmm. See who's contacting me now. The Sonya Show. How did they get this number? Just a second. Damn. Piece of no good, son of a... I'm feeling much better now. Okay, so Broski has some anger issues. Um, so again, he's going to be one of these things where he says, ask us a question. As I've said before, these are going to be random for you. So just pick whichever one you want to know here, because the question is going to be different. Um, usually we'll say, I guess that's a no. And usually when a character does say, ask a question, then of course you have the three options of... The, the um, fist, the Flores thing, and the other uh, dialogue option there. But, um, yeah, so I won't obviously mention that anymore. I think, you've got, I think you've got that down as a clown, Charlie Brown. Hmm. I don't know if I believe you. Hey. Lean forward. I want to show you something. That's a portable VCR. Now I can watch tapes whenever I want. When GP comes out on VHS in Petria, I'll watch it every day. My daughter would have loved Gigantic Park. But she passed away. Well, bad things happen sometimes. But I'll make it right. And in the meantime, I won't think about that terrible thing that happened to her. I'd become very angry if I did. No. You should take a snooze. You're a teen and your brain is still developing. Now, you can take a snooze, which will reset and give us some more energy. But of course, in real life, if you were in a dude's taxi or Uber like that, and he says, take a nap, you know you're going to be waking up with limbs missing. So, uh, you know, lucky this is just a video game. <laughs> Engine trouble happens a lot. Now we are going to lean forward. I thought there might have been a tape here, um, but it's not the kind of cassette tape that we're after. Uh, so you can look at the VHS tapes, but I highly advise if you don't want to die and get murdered by this broski, let us not play any of the tapes because I reckon killer pineapples are him probably killing someone, I assume. Uh, so yeah, then just a few more dialogue options and we're going to be coming at the end of it soon. Batman's changed. We've almost reached your destination. I hope you'll consider riding with Happy Taxi again. Well, choosing the only option here, I'm not sure, is going to get us the cleverness ability. So that gives us um, some more dialogue options later on down the line. Now, sorry, just one more thing I should mention is... Um, in certain levels, obviously, you may have an ability to do certain things, and you may not have an ability to do certain things. If, obviously, you don't have the ability, that's fine, because there will always be a way um, that you can finish the level. Um, anyway, so don't panic if you don't have an ability for certain something. There will always be a way to do that. So, we are nine miles away now. 
Now, this is the first time that we are coming up on Road 96. Now, you probably think, right, there we go, we've found the border, we'll just go across the road and get there, right? Well, it's not as simple as that, because nothing ever is. Is it? Jared, you angry pig. Uh, but anyway, we do get the almost there achievement there for reaching Road 96 for the first time. And remember, we have to reach Road 96 with six of the different characters, but if you keep dying, it doesn't matter because you'll will eventually you'll just have to play ten episodes instead of six, um, in order to basically finish off the game. So don't worry if you keep dying or getting arrested or whatever. But hopefully that hasn't happened just yet. So on we march, keep going straight forward. This bit's kind of a linear little path for now. So we're just going to keep heading forward and forward and forward, and then we're going to go for a little slide down. Might as well make some fun out of it, even though that rock looks a bit like it could hurt your tailbone. Ah. My butt bone! My butt bone's sticking out! Anyway, hey, it's a beautiful little place, this one. In a country that is devoid, full of anything decent. Uh, but anyway, keep heading forward again for now. Oh man, this is looking fine, boys, but we're going to take the left split here at the fork. You can go right, and you can go left. If you go right, you just go the long way round, basically. We're going left, and we're going to come up to this cave as we just keep heading forward. And you know what? It is a nice area. You literally might as well just stay here, and then now and again try and sneak off some food. It's a pretty beautiful place, this one. So, here we go. Then we are coming up to the cave, right literally by the waterfall. Uh, you can spray paint if you want. Um, I don't think it makes too much of a difference, I think it just looks nice. But before heading straight up, turn to the left here, and you can see these little stone cans. We're going to add a stone. Now, every time we come to this road 96, we are going to add a stone for the achievement called Stone After Stone. Uh, but we can only get it once uh, every time we come here. So, heading up, and you can see the little uh, icon in the distance right here. And we're going to leave and walk along the road. Now, if you think it's just going to be all the same all the time, it's literally not. This bit's going to be the same. But for this next part, all six times are going to be something different. So we'll have to go through some tunnels at some point. We're going to have to go through a security building at one point. This time, we're going to be doing a lot of rocking, jumping, climbing, rocking, jumping, and climbing rocking. So, yeah, that's how it goes. But this area will always be the same. And when we get up to the top here, what we can see is a guy selling you a bit of food and a bit of drink. Now, one thing I will also say is you can buy a fortune cookies for $3, but don't bother with it. Just do not bother with it. It's just put in place to troll you guys and me, incredibly, especially me. So, snacks and drinks is what we are going to grab. So, well, I say snacks and drinks. It's like one snack and a whole bunch of drinks we could just rob, but we're not going to do that. So only grab this food and drink if you need energy, because for this next part you're going to need quite a bit of energy. So make sure it is full, or basically almost full. I don't have to speak to the Ging Ging Gary right here. And again, do not even bother uh, trying to buy anything with the Fortune Pig. Again, there are a lot of characters like these that you can speak to, which we li literally don't even need to bother. Um, so. Yeah, I just literally wasted $3 for a pig to say good luck, oink. God, and if it weren't, well, if it's thanks to Peppa Pig, I actually hate pigs more as well now. So, um, well, that Game Pass game guide is going to be coming, so we're going to have to love Peppa Pig pretty much soon. So, here we are at this truck. We're not going to force ourselves in. What we're going to do is turn to the right. There is a little gap. There is going to be a gap. Sorry, I'm just, just going off my joints a bit. But there we go. Right at the truck is this little gap that we're going to go through. And this is where we're going to start climbing, trucking, jocking, and climbing and stuff. Uh, so we can't cross by Peak Trail. Again, for some reason. Because uh, we don't have the ability to cross stuff. Didn't know you needed that in life. So you can either climb up these jagged rocks and die, or... Oh, but, but nobody gave me the ability to walk across there yet. Yeah? Oh, no. How freaking annoying! So, this is what we'll be doing then. So, we're just going to keep on heading up. Obviously, it's a little bit slower since you're going up, and your calves are probably not as fully developed as... Well, not mine, because mine are tiny. i surprised my ankles haven't snapped, to be honest. That's how small they are, depressingly.
So, walking straight up across, now we're going to see a gap with a little plank on it. Now, obviously the number which we're going for is whichever one the biggest one is. So you can either jump or walk across. For me, it's 95% jump, so that's what we're going to do. If, of course, the bigger is number for walking across, you'll obviously pick the bigger number there. So, pretty sure that is uh, pretty self-explanatory there, but uh, yeah. So let's just keep walking along anyway. And again, so sadly, because we don't have the ability, imagine that in real life. Imagine going... Right, that way is deadly, but, oh damn, this random person I haven't met still hasn't given me the ability to um, walk across some slippery rocks yet. Son of a god damn! It's raining, it's pouring, god damn it's a free shower though. So head into the little gap directly in front of us and take shelter for a bit. That's going to use up some energy, which of course is why I say if you're lacking a bit on the energy, always try and find some food to eat, some drink to drink and somewhere to sleep if you can. Because you know, that way you don't die and stuff. And not dying really does come in handy. So uh, go in sp basically sort of right um, and straight on just a little bit. And we are just going to, you know, keep hugging the right-hand side wall. And what we're actually going to be doing now is quite a bit of jumping and quite a bit of... We are actually going to be doing jumping and a bit, bit of climbing now. So, uh, again, you can press the left trigger there. Uh, we're going to start seeing what happened more with the story and stuff now. So, bits of bombings, bits of explosion, bits of dead people everywhere. Not good, man, not good. And apparently of all the places to sit and try and take a nap, we are doing it on the rustiest, crappiest piece of plank wood there ever was. So, we're going to sit, we're going to have a little look, I mean it's a goddamn beautiful scene so you'll give it that. But then we will be able to uh, take a little rest, get some energy back and carry on through our day somehow not falling and dying. Because I'm one of those sleepers that sort of, you know, move around like a whale in the bed, sort of, you know left, right, and back and forth, so I would fall to my death pretty instantaneously. Although I wouldn't be that stupid to uh, take a rest there, to be honest, but hey, that's just me. I am cowardly. lucky for us we do not have to try and climb back all that way we just start on this lovely bit of roggedy rog rog rock rock jaggedy jag so what we're going to do we're going to keep going the way we're going i was just having a look to see where the hell we came from we're going to keep going and we are going to jump And then somehow, since we haven't broken our ankles, we're going to keep going forward and we're going to jump down again. While probably almost breaking our ankles this time. So with shattered femur bones, broken ankles and all, we're still going to keep going. And I think you'd be able to just grab the bag from here. But what we're going to do is turn around and we're going to jump down. By the way, the order of the Road 96s will always be the same as well. So, do not panic about that. Every order of Road 96 will always be the same. Um, it's just all the other levels that are in a bit of a random order, that's all. And then we're going to uh, snap forward just a little bit. We're going to take the rope. And, well, that ends the breaking femurs, leg bones, and all types of crappy bones. That's all that done. Freedom! 
and you know you've got a character across the border when this cutscene plays the freedom bit uh, because I think about in two, at least two, there are opportunities for you to actually die right at the very end. And I'm not sure then if you would have to, I'm not sure if that would count as crossing the border. And then you have to do another episode. But of course, I will let you know when we get there. And which specific dialogue options to take, not to die, and basically ruin a whole episode playthrough. Um, but yeah, so this cutscene is always going to play out. Um, every time you cross the border, so that'll be one done, and we've got five to go. Fantastic. Well done, bud. Well done, Mash Ketchum looking broski. So we're going to press a button. We're going to press continue there to start episode two. And then what's going to happen is the Sonia show. You know how she goes from, Oi, Becky. I like, oi. Kick, give me some cigarettes, you. Go into the shop and buy me some beer. To, hello, I am a posh little, I'm fantastic at what I do. Yeah, one of those. But anyway... The cutscene here is going to be different for you, potentially dialogue doesn't make too much of a difference. In fact, it makes no difference. Uh, they're just talking about, obviously, the stories and the levels which you have done. So, don't worry if it's not the same as mine again. She is recovering and will soon be back out on the road. The brigades. Now they're starting to take over our public transportation. That's why we need ten more years of Tyrak. To make sure this doesn't happen. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. What a relief. As you know, the Sonya... But coming up, now we can start to pick another character. Now, it'll always be random once again for you. So you can either go for the one with most energy or the one with most money, as you can see. Now, what I tend to go for is the one usually with most money. Because with energy, of course, you can get your energy back. You can make money as well. Um, but as you can see, this time I've gone for zero money and seven energy. Because there might be some levels that you can start where you can actually buy a cassette tape collectible for ten dollars. So, you know, it, it, it's not, you know, a, a massive requirement. But if you can, it's obviously worth just starting with more, more money if you can in order to just buy a tape if you are on that sort of level. If not, again, don't worry. Just choose one with either more money or more energy. Um, either way, you're not going to die. That's that, That's the whole point of it. Uh, but again, all those would have been different for you. So this is John. And again, he is just an, he is an awesome dude just because he's so big and awesome and manly like. And he's got a purple beard or blue beard, which is just awesome. I don't know how that came about. So now, sometimes in, the, in these cars as well, we're going to be driving a lot of cars through the game. They're always going to have random items in there like money just then. They may have cassette tapes in them as well. We'll come back to that a little later though. So what we're going to do, we're just going to say, right, okay, John, near problem. I see. So all you have to do then is look at the map where you are, where the telephone booth is, and choose the specific dialogue, um, choose the correct direction. So we're going to go with south first. Then we're going to go west. This should always be the same as well. Then north. And then east. And then make sure to choose validate. If you think that's wrong, reset it and go again. But that should be right. So southwest, northeast. Um, but again, these, this particular level again should be the exact same for you as well. So what you can do now, you can either have a little conversation with John, which we're going to normally do. Again... As we get into each car, if it says eject on the cassette tape player right there, that means that is a tape for you to grab. If it says play, don't worry about it. Um, but as long as it says eject, then that is a new cassette tape collectible for us to grab. But anyway, we're going to keep on speaking to John for a moment. Again, either choose the fist option or the sort of voting booth option. doesn't make too much of a difference which one it is. Um, but basically, the, 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 the fist icon is the sort of opposition um, to Tyrak. And they are called the Brigades, the Black Brigades, which we'll learn a lot more about. Good job, young lion. Wait a minute. I'll be quick. Robert, can you hear me? Robert, can you hear me? Robert! God damn it! Mm, we're losing time, young bud. I gotta get to a phone. 
So after this one, look at the map again, and then we're going to choose south, south, east, and south. So south, south, east, and south, 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 east, and south. Blah, 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 blah. South out. Man, my English is just as good as my Spanish once again. Non-existent, apparently. So south, south, east, and south. Use that to validate. And on your way, young blood. Yes, kid. We gotta find a phone. I don't like leaving my rig alone like that. Go oh, just up the road a ways. Yep, but a lot of people are looking for my truck. Just a huge tree covering the road. I'll make a note on the map. And for one final time then, we are going to look at the map and we're going to go east, north, east. Just sounded like one of uh, Kanye West and Kim Kardashian's kids, right? Uh, east, north, east. No, that's, that's the name. Isn't that the name? East, north, northeast. It's something, it's something crappy like that, isn't it? No offence. From what I've read, the kid's got a, a, good, a good head on her shoulders, which are surprising, considering the parents. But, um, yep, north, east, uh, east, whichever way I just said. Sorry, you've seen it. I already said it twice, and that gets us going. Be a here somewhere. You're calm. That's good. <laughs> A phone booth? Good work! Wait a sec, I'll be quick. Hello? Robert? Yeah, we have a problem. The truck broke down. Yeah, right there. Yeah, the transmitter's alright. Right. Yeah. Fine. I'll be there. Yeah, thanks. Now let's get back to Mr. Grizz. Hopefully he's all right. Everything's here, young blood. What a relief. My friends will be here soon. You should go, okay? Here's the dough I promised. Hmm, transmitter, eh? How interesting. Anyway. He gives us some dosh. We're going to say your secret safe. Uh, cheers, John, you ruggedy beast. Hell of a good looking man. Damn, I wish I had a chest like that, bro. And the same biceps. Anyway, just going to choose that option and then we are on our way. So that ends that level after we've met John Dog for the first time. And here we are then at the level called Short Circuit, where we're going to meet 14-year-old genius and um, self-proclaimed, self-proclaimed, self um, um, you know, what's it called? Where a white person thinks he's an epic rapper. We we'll see anyway. We will see the conversation anyway. So what we're going to do, when we begin first, now normally we are, you can run straight to the gas station and talk to Alex who's inside the building, actually. Um, I actually come up to this little camper van, have a look at this note here. It doesn't really make too much of a difference there, because I actually don't know who the hell Sarah and Jake is. Um, so that was pretty pointless there, so sorry about that. Uh, so what we're going to do then, is we're going to go into the building now. Again, you may see some posters with Tyrak posters on them. If you do see Tyrak posters, make sure to just draw on them, um, vandalize them, and that does actually play pretty heavily on the outcome of the next presidential election. So, we're going to speak to Big Alex right here, and he calls me dog and homie and stuff like that, which is... which I don't know how to take. You can't actually detonate it. I've been designing it for this guy I know, Robert. Mm, just a guy I know. I think he wanted to protect this group he's in. So now we know about the Black Brigades, of course, you might already know about them. Uh, <laughs> so, 
Again, this is just a random, one of those random parts. You can ask him whatever questions coming up on your screen. So about the Black Brigades, and which we know that John, which we done in our last level, or um, the level which we've done earlier or later on, uh, then we can choose if Flores wins, we'll eat better. So basically, when we're speaking to other teens, it's pretty much best to talk about Flores with the voting app option. When we're talking to adults like John, who are in the Black Brigade, who are obviously in the Black Brigade, um, it's best to, to speak up with the fist icon. So, uh, just, just, yeah, just a little something something. Cool, cool. So first I check the resistance with my voltmeter, and everything seems okay. Then I clean the captors, checking them too. A bit painstaking, but you're a genius! <laughs> to turn on the electricity, we need to find the generator. Could be anywhere at this station. So let's do a little bit of DIY, and this is my kind of DIY, because I'm not very good at it, in all fairness. So we're going to grab the nail gun here from the left, and all we're going to do... Apparently you've got unlimited ammo, which is all cool. You can't shoot Alex, so uh, don't even try. I did try. Um, <laughs> but all we're doing is just following the wire. So find out where the wire goes. Pretty sure, again, it goes in the same place that it uh, that it will be for us as well. But you still have to do this bit. So shoot, shoot, shoot your way to glory. And again, this is about as fantastic as I am with DIY. So if you want something done, don't call me. If I shoot off this lock in one hit, I want you all to give me ten pounds. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm the world's crappiest shot as well. And the uh, floor in my toilet doesn't thank me for that, to be honest. So anyway, we're in. We can't start the generator yet. I'm not that bad at aiming when it comes to we in, by the way. At least I don't think so. Not at, well. Three a.m. is a whole different ball game. Anyway, what we're gonna do? We're gonna say the keys here when we grab uh, start this bit. We're gonna grab it now. Obviously. Alright, cheers for that, Al, you absolute douche nozzle. Yes, dog. Thanks, Eminem. Jesus. Right, well, thanks for giving us the magnet now, douche nozzle head. So anyway, we're going to choose to look at... Now, of course, this is pretty obvious. Do not touch the keys on the red glowy parts. That is as pretty obvious as it can be, so you just got to be very, very careful because you can lose a lot of energy on these bits as well. As you'll be able to see, I get zapped, and stop saying yo and stuff. So yeah, you can get zapped quite a lot. So the only really hard bit is this bit. You've just got to be very, very careful. It doesn't matter if the magnet touches it, Just so don't worry about if the magnet touches it. It's just the key right there, the metal bit on the key. So just be very careful, and then drop him down to the left, and then we can finally, we're able to start the generator. After I've just been fried about a thousand times with a thousand bolts. Nice, you got it. All right, let's start the generator. Come on, let's go back. We got company. Hide. The lights are on, but the station sure is in bad shape. You know, that's why we need Tarak for another ten years, and not that Flores. To make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen elsewhere. Hey, wanna scare these Tyrax? Ah, some hilarious teen pranks. Let's electrocute some people, huh? Uh, did anybody do this in the day? Ah, they've got to have done. So press the button there, it's going to electrocute the broski. 
and then when the other guy grabs onto the car, then you can press the button. If you press the button now, it just makes a sort of squeaky noise. So you just got to wait until the other guy grabs it, electrocute him for some harmless teen prank fun. <laughs> I don't feel nothing. Gotta to touch the car. <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, I told you. I didn't believe you. I know. Hey, look over that. Whoops. Time to run, homie. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I did me to electrocute you. I'd done it as a prank. So sorry for almost killing you there, old son. <laughs> right, so that is basically the end of that level. Um, now, you can have a little look around. Because, again, in terms of cassette tapes, there may be some that do appear in random levels. There are uh, quite a few. We're just coming up to this vending machine here just to uh, eat a little something something, get our energy up a little bit. That bit of food should always be there. So you can have a look in the building if you want. There may be a random cassette tape there. Um, for me, there wasn't, so that's why I didn't bother. But So it's always worth having a look, having a quick look around before we end the level or anything anyway. So again, we can do whichever one we want. We can either grab a taxi. I don't think a taxi is available actually. Because for some reason, the only taxi available is Happy Taxi, driven by Batman, or Jared, sorry, or our employee, so the one employee. So, you can do whatever you want here. You can either hitchhike, I end up normally hitchhiking, or when we get the ability later on to pick the locks, what I would do, if you, if you do get the ability bef before me in the video here to pick locks, I would highly advise going into buildings, Picking, uh, having a look and seeing if you can pick a lock and stealing a car. Um, mainly because it gives you some more mileage and also you can find a lot more random cassette tapes in cars as well. Um, otherwise, we're coming up to a little thing with Zoe. Not many cutscenes were skippable in this game. This is one of them though. So, here he is. Here she is. The female me. Beautiful. Frackly goodness yum yums. It's normal the police would get violent. Wait, you're saying the police are justified in using violence? With no plan. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Now I'm not the only one subjected to this. People are looting, Jeff. What good will come of that? Looting is reasonable when the system is so broken. Do you think they always talk like this? They did give us a ride. That was nice. Even though they're now torturing us. Well, I guess I can't have this conversation with you, can I? So, you're one of us, aren't you? I knew you were a crosser. Like me. I can smell it on you. Literally. Let's talk about something else, then. You think they know what we're really up to? Yeah, no way. So, I got an idea. Let's play this game I found and listen to some music. Here, take my Walkman. Wait, have you played before? I like to know my opponent's strength before crushing them. So, if anyone can win at this game, um, then I will send you a five dollars. Which, actually, no, I'm going to take that back, because there's, if a lot of, if, if a couple of thousand people watch this and they've won, I haven't got that kind of money. So anyway, we're going to play two games of this. I'm going to lose twice. Um, so, I don't think, it doesn't make a difference, I don't think, if you win or lose anyway. But, you know, it's just a matter of pride, right? And apparently I've got none left after losing twice to a female version of myself. I win, but I always win. Want a rematch? That's the win. 
So, do you like the music? Don't worry about- Whatever the outcome anyway, we are going to get a new cassette tape. The cassette of course is going to be different for you, but it doesn't matter, it's a collectible and it counts lovely, so it all counts towards the 18 that we've got to grab. So, I'm a survivor, Jared is around, nya, 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 nya. And there we go, so that's a new cassette tape added to the collectible list. No, to have a life. My dad thinks I'm lucky to have a big house and go to a prep school, but I'm not, believe me. Yeah, you could say that. Look, I'm gonna tell you something, okay? Maybe I shouldn't, but I feel like I can trust you. My father is the Minister of Oil. Keep it down! Did you kids say something? Uh, just that you have a great van? Thanks. Oh, I feel better now that I've told someone. I wanted to tell this one kid, but we got kicked out of our campground before I could. Can you go back to thinking of me like you did before? So if you have played the video kill the radio star level yet, you know the guy who we filmed, the, the fat ginger guy who's all like, brr, brr, I've got my tongue right up President Tyrax's booty hole. Yeah, that guy, the Minister of Oil, that is who Zoe's father is. And now we've got old Gorak right here, um, old crunchy neck. I thought he had a problem with his neck, but apparently he can uh, he can stand up straight just fine. So, again, a little bit of conversation with him. Uh, it's all political. Just choose the dialogue options that I do for the majority, if you so wish. You're leaving because you think the country has problems. For real, Jeff. <laughs> anyway. Because you are leaving, you two are political, at least according to me. Ugh, the shame. So since you are... Jeff! Almost done. What are you gonna do to change this place? It could work. Man, dude is so unhappy with this answer that he's gonna break his neck and fling the other way. <laughs> Jesus, he's starting to look like the thing from the thing. You know, like the possessive thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, anyway. He uh, doesn't move his neck like a real person. That is more like an absolute puppet. Oh, no. I'm Pariso. Go over the speed limit? No. I mean, I don't think so. Everyone stay calm. Kids, let us do the talking. Road control, ma'am. License and registration. <sighs> Happy to help however we can, sir. Sir, he's nothing but a road control zombie. Those your kids? No, sir. Just giving them a ride. I see. <laughs> Are you all right, son? You seem a little nervous. Say, you look like one of the kids on the missing posters. Well, just to be sure, I'll need to see your papers. What if we were to... Make a donation to road control, sir. A donation? Well, for a donation, I suppose I could look the other way. Thank you, officer. Wait, wait, you're not really gonna pay this guy, are you? It's people like you that are ruining this country. Excuse me? Quiet. This turd in a uniform isn't gonna do anything! That's it! You're coming with me! What have you done, Zoe? Ah, don't touch me, What pig. do we do? 
I don't know. I don't know. Now, important dialogue option coming up. What we're gonna do is not save Zoe. I know because she looks like me, you think, oh, I have to save her because, damn, looks like the Welsh hunter. But we're not actually going to this time. We're gonna stay in the car. Basically, I believe if you try and help Zoe, you get arrested. And, uh, well, that ends your run and we have to do an extra episode. So don't even bother. Let Big Zobo get arrested. She'll be fine. Right? Ah, I guess we'll see you in just a little bit, huh? So, we are now back with my two favourite characters in the game, Stan and Mitch! S&M, condom heads if you want to call them that. Whatever you want to call them, we... Oh, Jesus Christ, we're a happy taxi. Oh no. Hello, Stan. All the lights are on. Yeah, but just leave those on, Mr. Criminal. Well, didn't work. Nope. Dan. You there! Wanna be part of something big? A break in. Probably the best ever. Best ever? You say that before all our crimes. And every time, it's true. Let's talk in the back. Come on, time to get started. Okay, so Mitch is casing out the place. We need to be real quiet. Really? Now shut your trap. Here comes Mitch. Okay, okay. From what I can tell, the place is empty. Yeah, this should be a piece of cake. Okay, let's go. There's a psycho after Sonia, and we need to protect her. Yeah, sweet Sonia's in danger. Yeah, well, she's a national icon. Kid, you go in through the vents here. You use my lucky lockpick to get it. But, Thieves in the Temple, this is the one where we get the lockpicking ability. So after a, quite a bit of lengthy dialogue there, we do finally get the ability for locking and picking. Which again will come in handy in order to steal some cars a lot later on. Or if this is one of the last levels, then um, uh, I hope you managed to get the lockpick ability <laughs> since then. Uh, again, don't worry about, there's no achievements uh, tied to grabbing all the abilities anyway, that's fine, it's the, literally, all we're going for is just the cassette tapes. So, again, what we choose is either the fist or we choose the Flores. If there's an option for Flores, then uh, that is the one that I normally pick for that one. So, in we go, little buddy. <laughs> Go to the end and use the lockpick. Now park in front of the camera. So we are going to get a cassette tape in here. Now, if it isn't in the safe, so we're going to open the door immediately to our left right there. And then we're going to input the code. If you don't have the hack ability yet, like I don't, we're going to enter the code and we're going to enter 2237. So 2237, that'll open up the code. That'll get us the cassette tape. If a cassette tape isn't in here, check all the other drawers in the CCTV camera room, which we're basically already in, and there should be a cassette tape in here. That's if it isn't in the safe, but hopefully it should be for you as well. So, in there, and we get a couple of dollars as well, which will always come in handy. So you can eat some food if you need a bit of energy. So what we're doing then is literally, you know, we're just making ourselves comfortable for five minutes. Well, there we go. So again, you can take this something on the floor as well, a little scratch card, maybe? No, we lose. Well, screw you, Sonia. Um, so a little bit of, again, obviously, Mitch and Stan. Look around. 
see a layout of the office? Now if you just look to the left of us and press the left trigger there, you can see exactly where they are or where they're supposed to be. So say you're in the reception. We didn't already know that. Let's do this already. Oh, oh no. Something's beeping. It's an alarm! Now, I thought this was a bit of a puzzle first, but I think you've just got to press one of the random buttons. I think for me it was the bottom middle button that I had to press, and then the alarm went off. So it's not a game, it's not a mini game or anything. I think that you've got to press either, just press every single button, and eventually one of them is going to go off. Cut the alarm, kid! What, what do we do, Stan? <sighs> Thanks, little buddy. Why are you thanking him? He forgot to cut it! Dan, he's not an expert criminal like us. Mitch, help me with the door. Hello, this is security. We're responding to an alert. Everything all right? Mitch, can't you pick that lock any faster? What triggered the alarm? You'll want to close and lock all windows in the future, sir. Anyway, thank you for your explanation. Just a second, sir. I'll also need Happy Taxi's security password. It's just protocol. What's happening, kid? I'm sorry, did you say something? What do you expect us to do? We're robbers, not wizards. No, I cannot. Yeah, whatever, kid. I'm waiting, sir. What is the password? Hold on. There's a password here. There's so, remember this code then. A45D2RCPP12. I see you PP12. So, remember that's A45 d 2 rcpp 12 so that'll be the second one for me. Hopefully it'll be in the same place for you. But that'll be that one then. And then we get luckily away with that one. Finally! What took you so long? You know I don't like to rush things. This is a break in, Mitch! Look! The manager's office! Oh man, the door is a code. Any idea? Uh try one, two, three, four. No. Four three two one? Nope. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Kid, you're in the security room. Code must be in there somewhere. No, I am not too sure if it's going to be in the exact same place as you, but it's not going to be in this drawer. That 2237 is, of course, the save code, um, which I don't think you'll be able to do now. Um, but anyway, we got that, so we literally don't have to do that. So no panic about that. Just look into the drawer to our right. And there's a whole bunch of numbers. For me, it was 4707 there on the right. So hopefully, again, I'm positive that most of the levels are exactly the same, but I'm just, I'm not too sure about um, sort of numbers if they randomize that as well. But 4707 it was for me. One of them's going to work anyway. And then, uh, well, damn. Hold on, there's tape on the camera. There! We knew someone was obsessed with Sonya, but this is Cray Cray. It's him, Mitch! The Seiko cabbie after her! You two! Stop! Close the door! Who was that guy? Looks like the security service sent an agent. Right, I know it seems it, but it is not the time section, so don't think you've got to panic and go, Oh crap, I'm gonna crap my pants before he gets me! No crap in pants and no getting this. So, uh, what we're going to do is not give the security uh, guard the, the uh, room code. So, don't give the room code to the agent. Um, yes, we do. And so, again, don't, you know, crap him. He's not going to he's not gonna bust, in, uh, bust in or anything. Uh, but we now know that the killer's attack location is known. It may good. So, uh, <laughs> for some reason, you can't just, you know, kick a door open because it looks like a weak door. So, the robbers have took off. Wow, that's a surprise. Um, we're going to look in the drawer and we're going to take the car key. We are going to do that, so make sure to do that. Fantastic. 
Uh, and th again, this is how chill that it is. Um, we're not actually under a time limit. I mean, we are actually. We've got about a minute left. Uh, but it's a long time limit, so you can have a time to sort of chill out and have a look around. Um, I thought he was actually going to come in and we were going to hit him with a chair, but we're just going to climb out. So <laughs> it's as simple as that. So apologies, I thought there was no time limit, but I only just seen that there was. That's how uh, fantastically blind I am. So, s and condom heads, off they go. Now what we're going to do, because we've got the car keys, remember, we are now going to take the car. So with the, the steering wheel option, let's steal it. So, no matter what happens, whatever level you're on, you're going to start off in the car. Now, remember what I said earlier about always have a look around, down at your feet as well, in the passenger footwell, um, in the back seat, in the glove box, absolutely everywhere, because there may be little bits of money for you, but more importantly, there may be some random tape cassettes uh, for another collectible. It won't always be there, but of course, randomly, sometimes it may just be. So, it's always worth doing. Oh, Minister, it's old Minister Ginger Pubes. Well, that's great. Fantastic. So there we go then. Have a look. Um, so there we go. I managed to get one here. Alex the Hacker. Sounds like a hack. Uh, but I did find one random one right there. We got some vehicle papers as well, which come in handy. Because if we do end up um, needing to give our papers to... Oh, in fact, it will be this one, sorry. <laughs> so, if there's nothing else in the car, we can just drive fast. Yeah, sorry, the vehicle papers we're going to give to Big Fan Dog now, old Fanny Rash. Because uh, here she comes. But yeah, always check around for any random uh, tape cassettes that may be in your car. As you can see, there was one in there for me. Hopefully, there's one in there for you too, if you come along to it. So, here we go then, Mrs. Rash. That, that's her actual full name there, Fanny Rash. That's... I didn't make it up, I just uh, wrote it down and laughed about it. I'm gonna need your license and registration. That's good. Real good. Of course I have thoughts. Not really. Sorry. Your preferred candidate's been noted, kid. Now, like I asked, your license and registration. Bartholomew Vanderbilt. Really. You're 42 years old? Then you gotta tell me your beauty secrets. Just a second. You're in hot water. Central, we got a situation here. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> unlucky Mrs. Rash. You got messed up. But we are coming up to another little mini game. Remember with the Stan and Mitch one from A View to Kill? All we're doing is going left and right and just avoiding the cars. This one is easier, a lot, quite a bit easier than the Stan and Mitch one. Um, so yeah, just try not to die and not hit the cars. Simple. Catch them.
row, row. And that's the end of that chapter. So you can either ask her who are those guys, which is going to say sorry about that and just crack it on as normally. What was I thinking? You should go before other cops get here. Go! 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 And with it, we get a new ability, the Government Pass, because uh, it, it fell out of Fanny Rash's butt. Which, hey, we'll take that. And then we can just drive to the next location and end this little level. And we have made it, together we've made it, we're back onto Road 96, bro. So immediately we're going to head to the right as we begin, we're already by the waterfall as you can see, so we can go to the right and we can just head through the cave. Remember we're going to add a stone to the can, the cairn, the cairn, the cairny. Hard to pay to pay to bat to be to bat But we can spray paint whatever it is you want. Again, you don't have to do this. It's just it looks cool. So remember, before going straight up there, turn to the left here and add a stone to the air to get 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 Karen. And then head up to the right and get into the next location. So this uh, bit of Road 96 is called smuggling, and we'll see what we'll see exactly why in just a bit. But what we're going to do, we are going to, if you need some energy, of course, and you've got the money for it, grab a bit of food and grab a bit of drink. And if you've got all the money, grab a fortune cookie as well. Uh, but there's one thing that I do, which I will advise you not to do, and uh, that's waste fifty dollars. So right where Gary was, we're going to head down, which was of course to the left, not the right that we went through earlier. And when we come here, then, we are going to get um, stopped by a creepy guy who stalks in the bushes, apparently. Uh, yeah, it looks very creepy. So we're just going to say, I just want to pass. And then, basically, all we're going to say, then, is I just want to pass, pretty much again. So, I want to cross, is why. And there we go, that's uh, pretty much it. Now this is where I highly advise not wasting $50 reduce because you're going to come to the same point anyway and talk to the same team, teen anyway. So when we speak to Broski here, I'm looking to cross. So if you don't have enough money, again, literally don't even worry because you don't need to waste. Um, we're going to say you got to help me. Um, which I thought she'd do out of the kindness of her heart, but she ends up wanting $50 off us anyway, so... Um, yeah, so you should get that ability there to just say you got to help me and then we're going to come to the same We're going to come to the same part anyway In fact, yeah, it literally doesn't matter if uh, you get helped or not Because you are if you've got her with you, that's Great, but if not it doesn't matter because you will come to this same part anyway with or without her yeah, so um, I very stupidly give her $50. I would highly advise not wasting your money. It doesn't make a difference because we're coming up to the end anyway of Road 96 and crossing the border. Um, but literally, all she does is nothing. She does a whole bunch of nothing. She's just robbed us, which, you know, in a Tory government in uh, Britain, we're kind of used to that by now, aren't we? If we're paying £7 for goddamn Lurpak, which you're a... Bit of a silly sausage if you are paying £7 for goddamn butter. But you're going to come up to this same teenager anyway, with or without um, 
Boris Johnson's lackey robber. Robbing you right there. And for some reason, I very stupidly say, yeah, I'll pay for him. Why? Why? So, again, if you're on your own, you will take him with you anyway. It's it's pretty important that he's with you because he is going to be the sacrificial lamb for your escape, uh, more or less. Lucky we've got no ties to him and we're not, we don't know him well enough. So it's all good, but we're just going to carry on walking for a while. Hold up. That light ahead should be the guard I know. Stay here. So, the absolute rob ass is going to ask us for more money, which of course I don't have personally. If you have $25, yeah, worth a go. I'm not exactly too sure what happens from here. So we've got to say, um, obviously, you know, I haven't got it, so go and fudge yourself, mama. So we're going to speak to the guard here, and then what we're going to do is run away. And there is a, a very important dialogue option at the bottom, which we are going to choose. So, guy who looks like Sal from Imp Impractical Jokers, he's basically going to say, you know, I hope you've got your running shoes on, and we're going to go for a run. So, here we go. Choose any option, doesn't matter here what you mean. So, run straight past the guard. Don't worry about getting shot, you're not going to get shot at this, pan uh, this point. What you are going, what is going to happen though, is we're going to run straight down. And you see the gap right in front of the, like, or just on top of the fence there. Uh, turn to the right and you can see that. We're going to speak to the team and make sure to choose the option, thank you. Make sure to choose thank you as the option there. Sorry, I've done it quite quickly. But make sure to choose thank you as an option. We survive, he dies, and that is the second one done. And then we can start episode three. And of course, we've got to press continue. Have a look at the whole Sonya show crap. And then we can carry on. But that is road, that is the second out of six time. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. Two brigades have been arrested after a drive-by shooting attempt on a police officer. Here today is Captain Bridge from that officer's precinct. Thank you for coming, Captain Bridge. Can you tell us more about the incident? Of course, Sonia. The officer in question was shot at while on patrol. I don't understand. Why would the brigades shoot at one of our finest? Excuse my French, Sonia, but that's because the BBs are low-life scum. Luckily, the officer wasn't hit and is doing fine. Yes, luckily. And how did you apprehend the brigades who did this? Those boneheads lost control of their vehicle and crashed. Ha! <laughs> Talk about instant karma. <laughs> Incredible! In very good news, a large network of smugglers helping teens cross has recently been dismantled by security forces. Thank you for keeping our country secure, border forces. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. So this time then I went with the teen that had the most money. Yep, so, ty yeah, let's not vote for Tyrax. So this is where the numbers on the presidential polls there can uh, flicker back and forth. So it might be more for you, less for you. Um, and that is if you rip and vandalize Tyrax posters and choose options that talks about Flores winning and stuff like that. That can actually help big time. So I'm going to choose the team there with the most money, which is the one on the left. So I've only got three energy, but mostly money. Now... I keep looking at the money, 
because we can buy food, we can buy tapes. That's what my thinking was right there. So, anyway, we are on to episode three now out of six. And we're going for, you're the inspiration. Now, the first time that we're in the limo, there may be a random, there may be a random cassette tape, which will be right on the floor by our feet. So, uh, we're going to eat if you need some energy. There we go. So, the cassette tape, uh, I'm sure, but thanks. You know, again, it's the same sort of dialogue options, which hopefully you've been following along lavingly right now. But if you do take a look at the floor, there may be a cassette tape for you there. If there is, that's great. That's an extra one for you. If not, don't worry. There was not for me. So, uh, maybe, maybe not. So, keep on talking to big Sonny dogs for a minute. And this is what happens when you are off your nut constantly. Her wrists look like they're about to sort of go into her own arm backwards, which uh, sounds creepy. But anyway, what you need to do is just press the right trigger to interact with all of these little circles that start appearing. So it's a very simple mini game again, but all you got to do, basically these circles are going to appear wherever Sonya is. So we're going to start flying in a minute. Well, oh, there we go. Oh, just seen right up her skirt. Smell what you had for breakfast there. Bit of, uh, bit of fanny rash up there. What? <laughs> Fanny, what are you doing up in Sonia? Anyway, uh, it's going to be to the left, to the right, basically wherever Sonia is. So, just uh, yeah, keep on going for a couple of mins.
Yeah, so I don't want to be speaking throughout the, you know, majority of the game. I don't really want to spoil the uh, story and the dialogue for you, but I am looking for the cassette tape. So it could be there. Like I said, have a look. If it's there, that's great. If it's not, don't worry about it. There are plenty of levels left to get all of the uh, cassette collectible tapes. So if there is nothing about, we can just go ahead and speak to big Sonny Dogs once again. Don't worry. Aunt Sonia just had to get the poison out. <sighs> All better now. By the way, maybe you have some questions about being on the road? You can ask me. I'm like an open book. And then, of course, there's the whole uh, questions that may be random that you won't get the same questions here. Like I said, every time they want you to ask them a question, it'll always be different. But then you can just choose either the fist... Uh, basically, we're never agreeing with Tyrak and it's c his cronies. Yeah, that's just because you're getting paid mega bucks to spread crap and fake news. Very BBC style and Fox News type stuff. No, I didn't. Anyway, that's in the past. And who cares about that? Only those unhappy in the present. Good luck on your journey, Lamb Chop. It's serious business out there. Right then, so we are beginning the level called Firestarter. Now, there is another miscellaneous achievement. I think it's the last misc achievement that we're going to do. And this is for helping Zoe. But you can get caught and can get arrested. So, you have to do... There are two ways to do this, okay? So, you have to do exactly what I do. And I'll tell you where you can mess up in just a bit when we get there. So, we're just going to say to her, are you okay? And, of course, yeah, we're going to help you out. Female, <laughs> female Welsh hunter. Hey, hey, hey. God, I'm so hot. My dad must have found out where I was. Get get the van keys from the cops. But you'll need to to distract them somehow. Then come back here. Thank you. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to the right here, and you're going to see the two cops sitting on the bench on the left, but we're just going to go past them, past these bits of tires, don't worry, again, this isn't a time section or anything, but we're going to grab the empty gas can, first of all. Then, what we're going to do is go into this little shed here. Now, we see a Tyrak poster. We're going to vandalize that, because screw you. Um, right, we're going to grab the hose from the back on one of these boxes. To the right, there is a telephone box as well. Now, what we can do is interact with the telephone box. If you've got a tear and the hack system, so you can either pick the lock here or open it. If you can tear or hack, you can tear or hack the electricity. Then, what would happen is a cutscene begins and a police officer is going to come down the right side there. So what you would do after the cutscene is run back the way you came, through these tyres, grab the police key on the table, and then go ahead and rescue Zoe. If you go to the right side... Uh, we're just going to siphon the gas here. But after the cutscene, if you go to the right side where the police officer's coming, he'll spot you, you'll get arrested, you'll miss the achievement, and you'll just have to uh, go for a new game plus and cut your hope that you bump back into this level. And then you can try it again. So that is the one way that you can do it. Of course, it didn't work for me, so we grab a gas can. We're going to go into the shop here, and we're going to buy some matches. Which, wow, don't you just look like someone who should be in prison right now. So we're going to buy some matches here. Uh, as Again, you should have $2 at least. So you should be golden as nuggets. So what we can do is go back sort of around. There's the shed. Now, right here, right next to the telephone box, basically, is where we can light the fire. So there are two ways, like I said, to do this. We can distract them with the telephone pole or lighten a fire. So remember, 
What we need to do, and it's exactly the same with the telephone pole and the telephone box, as soon as this cutscene ends, you need to run the opposite way. So they're going to come around the right side of the building. We need to go back past through the tyres. So go back around, through the tyres again, interact with the key to grab it off the table, and then we can go ahead and rescue Zoe. We do get arrested, but that is fine. So we can open up the police car, Get the handcuff key, use it on Zoe, and rescue the sexiest female Welsh hunter there ever was. Which is, of course, me I'm referring myself to. Nah, nah, nah. So we get arrested, but that's fine, but we've got the achievement, which is finer. I didn't mean for this to happen. You gotta believe me. This country is so messed up. I'll go back to my father. Uh, to jail, and possibly... I'll, I'll get my dad to save you. I'll say... I don't know what I'll say. Look, maybe... Maybe you should rest. You'll feel better. Just... Just try to get some sleep. And when you wake up, I'll know what to do. Okay? <gasps> you hear that? See you in help! They're gone, but they'll be back, and with friends. Lucky we intercepted their comms. Check the van. The girl must be inside. Please, don't hurt us. Got a second kid in here! The less you know, the better. You can, but Zoe, you should come with us. Wait, how do you know my name? Did my father send you? <laughs> Definitely not. We'll explain later, but right now, you two have to split up. You... You risk your life for me. Yeah, maybe. Zoe, we have to... So, I think Zoe had a little <laughs> honky honky tonk tong for us right there. A little tinky tonky winky wonk. Um, but sadly, there is no love for the female Welsh hunter because we are out of it. So, if you were wondering, this is another Mitch and Stan, a little M&S, a little condom head level once again. Um, so, we only have two energy bars left. Well, I've got only two energy bars. Hopefully, you've got a bit more, maybe a bit more money as well. Who knows? Th thanks for the randomness of the game. So, what we're going to do is just keep heading forward anyway for the time being. And here we are then at this weird little building. So before we go up the stairs, we're going to take a little left here. And then an immediate right to go into this room. And there should be some money just chilling. Chilling on the table for us. A nice $20. Dollary dollar news. So right after that, there is literally nothing else here. So we can just turn to the left. You can have a little ex exploration around as well. Just in case there is some other money or some other cassette tapes or something. But I'm pretty sure there is nothing here. So we're going to head up the stairs all the way to the end. And we're going to walk across a plank, and then we're going to start speaking to old condom heads, Stan and Mitch. Again, just choose these same dialogue options that I do. Hear that? Ugh, that's not the creep after Sonya, is it? 
Nope, kid ain't nothing but a hitchhiker. Tie her up. Told you she wasn't dead. You were right. Guess I owe you five big ones. I don't have it on me right now. But I will as soon as we rob the kid. This is Stan and I's hideout. Pretty nice, don't you think? Shut up, Mitch! Give us all your money, kid! Now! Yeah, yeah all your money. In case you didn't notice, we're the ones giving the orders. Maybe I'll have to show her the beast. Oh, you hear that? The beast. Now search her, Mitch. Well, looky here. How much we talking about? Not enough to quit the game, Stan. No amount could ever make us quit the game, Mitch. It'd be nice to rob someone actually rich once. Sure would, Stan. Mitch, this kid is starting to hurt my ears. Show her the beast. With pleasure. <laughs> now come on. We got work to do on our investigation. Sweet Sonia's life hangs in the balance. I feel like I'm going crazy, Mitch. Yeah, me too. And if we don't crack this soon, it'll be too late. Quiet, little lady. Do I have to show you the beast again? Yeah, shut your trap. Let the grown-ups think in peace. Kid, someone wants to end Sonia's life. The famous reporter? Yeah, we doubt that you could help us. <laughs> Mitch, maybe I'm crazy, but maybe she can help. Yeah, I mean, what do we have to lose here? Pick her up. We'll make you a deal, kid. Help us, and you'll get your money back. So we're trying to find. So we are going to help then, S and M. Stan and Mitch. So we're trying to figure out what he looks like and when he's going to attack. So. What you can do, uh, obviously there's a lot of clues all about, if you want, you can um, interact with some of his letters right here, just to see dates and things like that, but the main thing, the main thing we know when he's going to attack is we have to put 0909 into the calendar, um, so we can enter the date, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to do it straight away, so if you go into enter date and into the calendar, you can just enter 0909 and that should end it pretty well. Or pretty well quickly uh, but if you want you can have a look at all these pictures you can have a look at all the papers and you can also have a look and listen to the tape as well but the main important one when we enter the date it'll be month 09 and day 09 so the 9th of September years I will take my revenge do we know when that was recorded Stan yeah sometime in 1994 showed you the beast earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. We have all the information we need to say, sweet Sonia. Here's your cash, kid. It's best to honor one's promises. Stan and Mitch rules. The ladder near the TV. Just climb it. Now get. But, uh, before you go, maybe you want to ask us something? Unfortunately, due to our priors, this is an impossibility. Yeah, if you got a criminal record, you can't vote, kid. But what about you? That's nice.
Well, I mean, I got him, we got our money back, so that all ends well that ends well. So we're going to take a little rest for a moment before moving on. So again, obviously completely up to you, whatever you want to do. If you've got car keys, you can use the car, but we don't this time. So it's either going to be hitchhiking, which I normally tend to do because it doesn't cost me anything. Or obviously buses will be the cheapest one, $7. And then taxi, of course, will be $12. Next up, we're going to blame it on the rain, which is what we'd normally do anyway. So we're back in Big John's truck. Rain won't quit, will it, young blood? So you can have a look at things in the truck if you want. There's nothing that's... Um, again, you can have a look below and see. open up, see if there's a tape in here. For me, there is. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure there will be as well for you. So, again, any truck or car or anything that you get in, have a look in the glove box or wherever you can. Try and find a cassette tape. There's, so, there is another cassette tape there for me. And, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is have a little bit of chat with John. And he's going to start falling asleep. And we're just going to keep waking him up by opening the windows and everything. Be lying if I said no. Well, let's talk about something else. You start, okay? Well, it started for a good reason. But now, I'm afraid things are getting too radical. What do you think? You get along well with a guy I know. This old lion's tired. Not necessary. Starting to feel better already. Yes, sir. And I know some breathing exercises to activate 99% of the mind. I'll just do some of those and... Good to go. But you should rest. Need your energy on the road. Go on, young cub. Ain't got all my fingers, but you're in good hands. So all we need to do is actually just press the emergency brake, which is just underneath John. So I roll the window down and do all that stuff, but just underneath John, you'll have the ability to look down, or look under, and then smash on the emergency brake. I should, yeah. But, uh, 
But you gotta get this cargo somewhere fast. Uh, adult diapers. Yeah, don't make fun of me. Oh, just up the road. Yeah, only one solution. You gotta make me an omen vitality. Get in the back. I'll explain. Sorry about the mess. I'm not the cleanest hombre. So, we're looking at things for a... Uh, well, we can steal food if you need a bit of energy. That's fine. John's not going to bother about that. So, the shaker's to the right. Um, now, to the left, if you have a look at the photo there to the left, where it says, look at photo, uh, you're going to have a little conversation with John, but that is where his omen vitality... Uh, Big Ting Cocktail Coffee uh, comes from. And that is what we need to do to use and get his chest even more pumped. 10% extra pump! When the peak collapsed, mm, that's how I lost these fingers. Trying to get to her under the fallen rocks. But the truth is, I'd have given my whole arm, my whole life, to save her. She was the wind in my sails. And I'll miss her for the rest of my days. So press left trigger to interact with it there. It's going to tell you what you need. You need ginseng, cucumber, and coffee beans. That sounds gyrosy. So the ginseng, ginseng is on to the right. There it is. Kind of looks like a moldy genital warted wiener, but there we go. Uh, now to the left is a cupboard which we can open. There we go. So cucumber's up top. So it's just one of those games you just got to move a couple of items about before we can grab the cucumber at the bottom, and it'll be the same with the coffee beans at the bottom as well. Check for the beans at the bottom. Those items to grab what you need. Also, to the left of the cupboard, if you wanted, you can steal a bit of money as well. Um, I actually missed that one, which is fine, but you can if you need the dosh. Otherwise, we can shake the human vitality, give it to Big John for the extra 15% chest pump, and Zizbra his life up. Hey, my drink almost ready! Vitality! Go on! Sip, young blood. That'll knock your socks off. I knew you'd like it. Keep the recipe. It'll come in handy. Now, time to put the pedal to the metal. Welcome to ride with me further. Alright, so we're done with this level anyway, so you can either get out until you find a good spot, or get out now. Uh, for some reason, I choose the one with the uh, least energy for some particular reason. I wish you luck on this grand adventure of yours. So here we are then, on to another Jared level. So all we're going to do is keep walking forward for a moment before crappy Batman, before crap man, uh, you know, things has happened stiff. So before we go any further then, turn to the right, go into this van here, and we're going to find some money to take. 
Have a look as well, this should and could be a random cassette tape as well. So have a quick little uh, look around, because we're uh, end up actually going to burn it. So have a look around, if there's nothing and just the money, walk forward and then Jared's going to intercept us. Oh no crap man. I don't want your money, Brigade. I'm the one doing the talking. Understand? I knew you'd come back to your van. <laughs> no, but you come here sometimes. You and your brigade friends. What did I say? Now. Get in your filthy van and find me a light. I feel like having this. So just head back to the van then and the matches are going to be where the money was earlier. So head back, give them to Gerard. Found those easily, didn't you? I knew that was your van. Now we're gonna play a little game. It's called Hot and Cold. I used to play it with my daughter. Tick tock, the game has started. Call. Next thing's next, we're gonna interact with the boot of Jared's taxi, and there's no body in it this time, which well, it comes in handy. But we are gonna grab the gas can and then head back to the van van. God, you're a creepy broski. Good brigade. Now, I have a surprise for you. You like surprises, right? Grab the can. Good. Now, put gas on everything in the van. Everything. We're gonna watch it burn. That's the surprise. Jared sounds like he could be in an absolute death metal band to be fair that was uh, that was a hell of a go right there I was just expecting a you know mega metal breakdown to happen or something there go do, 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 do. you know but since that didn't happen we're just gonna run crapping our pants and heading either we're gonna keep on walking or we're gonna take a hitchhike whichever one you prefer of course at, up to this point So then, welcome to Teenage Dirtbag. We are back with the uh, Yo Homie Dude. Um, and for whatever reason here, I'm about to pause the game for 10 seconds. Uh, you can have a look at your collectibles. See how many tapes that you've got at the moment and see what story progression you've got through with everything. Um, otherwise, this is a quite chatty one here with Big Al Doll. But what we're going to do is actually grab a cassette tape. So to the bottom right, right by where you're sitting, grab another cassette tape. Again, hopefully there's one there for you as well. 
and steal some cash while you're at it, because why not? We mean hell nah. Oh, hell nah, me, nah, nah. You banana. Gotta say something, homegirl. Don't be one of those weirdo silent riders. They fight for what they believe in. I can respect that. People say they caused the peak to collapse, but I think that's BS. You? Sometimes you've got to be radical, especially when you're living in a dictatorship. <laughs> Dang, I think that's ex-mom. Yeah, she adopted me when I was four, then treated me real well, but homie needed to make a change. Yeah, my life's real complicated. She told me my bio parents were brigades. She knew that, but she never said nothing for 10 years. Like what, yo? It did, but she made it hurt worse. So that's why she's ex-mom. And that's why I ran away and I'm on the road. Alex. Alex. Help. Please. Me too. But it could be some kind of trick. Ex-mom is cunning, yo. Check the scanner at your feet. So have a look at the scanner here. Now, I'm pretty sure we'll just be able to press the right... So the left right one once. And then the right left arrow once, if that made sense. <laughs> or a couple of times. So, um... Uh, just, just basically do it a couple of times until we can start talking to Alex's ex mom. The bank near our home's being robbed. I know things aren't great between us right now, but I need you to do your thing and access his cameras and tell me what you see. Fine. I'll help you with my super dope tech. But that's the last time, woman. Thank you, baby. Big Dog is not a baby. I'm gifted, but I can't do everything. You gotta get in the back. Yeah, I'm in the intel game, yo. Big Brother is watching us, so I'm watching Big Brother. Okay, uh, sort of a little tweaky in minigame now, as it were. Uh, all we gotta tweak the antennas, as he just said there, to uh, get a clearer picture. And all we gotta do is press the left stick to uh, tweak it around once, and then as soon as you get a kind of clear picture, you can go up to the second antenna and then spin the second one until you get a, a little bit of a clearer picture and then go up to the first one until you get a totally clear picture. Uh, you should only have to tweak the antennas once, maybe twice, but it is as easy as that. And we're going to do this three times, so... Yeah. Is X -mall. Good. Anything else? <laughs> and homegirl says they're kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, not these guys again. Okay. I'll relay all of this. Thank you, baby. Yo, I'm a bit tongue-tied with Exma. Got any advice? Look, I'll call you soon, okay? Okay, baby. Sounds good. Alex. Yeah? You know I love you, right? Yeah. I know. Bye, Exmom. Sorry you had to see that, homegirl. Yeah, I could, when I know more about my bio parents. Life, it's complicated, especially when you're 14 and a genius. Anyway, thanks for helping me and ex-ma back there. Look at us, two teenagers on the road of life. Quick 
cool, cool. So we're going for row 96 for a third time then. So what we're going to do is head up to the left here through the broken gate and just keep on heading straight. Who wants to do zip lining? Let's do it. Take the zip line tool and zip line. Everybody say zip line. Zip line. If anyone's seen that South Park episode. And it would be fun if it actually would end like this. Uh, all washed up ashore and stuff like that. But since it's not, uh, we can just turn around from here. Uh, you can have a look. There's just a radio. Don't think there's anything there. But we are going to head to the right, immediate right from where we just were. And then go through all the trees. We're going to, of course, look for the waterfall again. And then we're also going to get the stone after stone achievement. So there is the waterfall. So we're going to head into the cave. We're going to add the third stone to the cairn. However the hell you pronounce that properly. Cairn. Iron cairn. The cairn. Iron. Nah, whatever it is. Uh, do a bit of spray Putin again if you prefer. Not spray Putin, spray Putin. And then to the left, of course, add a stone for the last time. You can keep adding stones when you come here every time, or you can destroy it. It's up to you. But as long as you do enough to get the stone after stone achievement, then life, my girls and gals and guys and girls and dolls, is all good. So since we've got that, we can head all the way up now. And, well, let's get through. Let, let us get our third character through, huh? So, you, this area will of course be all too familiar for you by now, so you can buy some food and drink if you want, but this time we don't actually need to bother if you don't want, because all we're doing is answering a couple of questions, and that'll be the end of it. We don't actually have to go anywhere, so... Um, but then again, if you've got money to burn, then... Then why the hell not? So, what we're going to do is head all the way down, so past the truck, we don't need to go to the right side this time. No, 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 we don't. We just need to go all the way down. So I was having a look at the trucks. I wanted to see what was in there, but uh, I got a bit scared and a bit per nerd. So heading all the way down here. Now this is a section of the game where we have to answer with specific dialogue options in order to pass. So obviously, we're uh, not, not at this point. We're all going to say, I am, we're all good, blah, blah, blah. Everything looks in order. We can head inside. Welcome. You're here for the offshore worker test. If you fail, 
is because you have lied and you will be detained. It's too late to leave. Try and you will also be detained. The test will be difficult. Only the most honest citizens will pass. Your number will be displayed behind me. When it appears, it's your turn. Your test results will also be displayed there. So pay attention! There are certain requirements you need to know. Only married persons with at least one child can rightfully apply. Your contract, if you pass, will last for five years. No more, no less. Last... Honestly, this guy just reminds me of that SpongeBob SquarePants episode, where his uh, hall monitor. No running! In the how! I want to buy everything! In the how! And obviously every other cartoon that's done a hall monitor episode. Right, so that is our number, candidate 13, the very luckiest number, if it were the unluckiest number. And we're going to be shouted at and spat on again, because uh, for some reason, that's what guards, guards have got small, small balls with big egos, that's, uh, that's how I look at it. Uh, so, he's going to answer some questions, so you can actually have a look, there are some clues, uh, I believe, that are on some of these posters and everything. Well, I'm not President Tyrant. Um, but this is where we need to answer the question. So again, I think there may be some clues. But what we're going to do is say 13. So number C, or letter C, sorry, number 13. For this one, we are going to choose one years old, which is number A. Letter A, same stuff. And for this one, we are going to choose five years total, which is B. This guy's voice is cracking me up, though. Um, he's going to be six years old, so A. Number A right there. Question, eh. Are you? Or have you, are you? A black and of course, what you're going to say is no, so that is number A once again. Question, yeah, have you ever been? I tell you who this guy sounds like after I'll tell you this one. Um, you're going to say B for no. When did the black... And of course we know that is September the 9th, 1986. So that would be C. September 9th, 1986. Oh wow, this is, a, this is a hard question. Choose C for Tyrak. Tyrant. Oh, oh, we've missed a few questions. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do then is t uh, choose A, which is writing to foreign pen pal. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. So, we are going to pass. I was going to say, what is that big slug of uh, Monsters, Inc.? You know, the receptionist. What, what's her name? As we just choose, I have nothing to ask now. Uh, Roz, wasn't it? Number one. Hey, Mike Wazowski. Always watching. That is exactly what this guard sounds like. Sounds like he needs to take the biggest dump on the planet. But since that's not happening, all we're going to do is wait for our results, and this is now basically the end of the third Road 96 part. Uh, you can have a little chat with her if you want. She's looking nervous. Somebody's failed! God, I hope he passes us. Number 13, you have passed. Stand up and leave. And may you well represent our blessed nation. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello. 
Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. In a news exclusive, I've learned the brigades have recently attacked two officers transferring a prisoner. The brigades overwhelmed the officers during a refueling stop and released the prisoners. Here tonight is Officer Green, who fortunately survived this brutal attack. Officer Green, can you tell us what happened? Well, me and Officer Thompson were refueling on our way to a more secure facility when we were suddenly attacked by at least 10 brigades. Terrible. These brigades, they're just violent criminals. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, if anyone knows anything about the people who did this or have seen these fugitives, call the Sonia hotline or your local authorities at once. Thank you, Officer Green. The gate to the border was open today goes to show you how great our nation is because we had, as always, few requests to work offshore. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. Nation, vote for Tyrak. Nothing less than our democracy is at stake. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's Ooh, so who are we gonna pick to go unmissing? Oh, it's gotta be the one with the most money and the most energy. Eight dollars and seven energy? Yes, please. Now, of course, you can, if you wanna get this game done quicker, you can obviously choose the one which has less miles. Um, but I don't suppose, you know, you're probably gonna get it done the slightest bit quicker. Um, I was literally just looking at the money and the energy. So obviously, you may have less distance, but there's more risk of death and, you know, being bummed and stuff by guards, because guards have lonely jobs. So anyway, here we are at Burnen. And it's basically a little festival, and this is another Sonya level. Sonia wants to party. Sonia parties. Jesus, the third person? Look, all Adam's saying is you shouldn't go in. This weirdo could be here. This is a party for important people only, honey buns. Which is why Adam can't go in. Oh, she burned you there. Now, I'm going in. And the kid is coming with me. What? He's my date. Come on, kid. Uh-uh, Brosif. Like Sonia said, you gotta be famous. Kid, keep an eye on her for me. There's a psycho after her. Maybe there is, but you can't live your life in fear. Ah, that's a motto of mine. You can learn a lot by talking to me. Shoot! How do you think they make me feel? They want to topple a system that's good to me. I don't like them at all. Enjoy yourself, sugar. We'll meet up later. Hey, I wanted to go on a date with you, Sonia. Although she has a weird habit of picking up teenagers. Now that screams help me behavior. Right, so going over to this little ping pong looking table, the weird dodgy guy. We're going to talk to Sonia and we're basically going to play this game a couple of times. It's a simple game of where is the ball under the cup. Uh, now, there's nothing else to do apart from um, have a look at the ball and when the cup goes over it, have a look which one it is. But we are going to play this a couple of times basically until we lose. Obviously, the more that you carry on, the more money you can earn. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter if you end up losing quite quickly or whatever. Uh, we're all going to do the same thing anyway. It's simple. 
You shuffle faster for me. Another try, young man? Oh, and you can place a bet, too. Excellent. If you win, you get double. A wise bet. Now don't take your eyes off the cup. Ready? Here we go. Young man. Excellent pick, young man. Another round? I'm gonna get in on this. Put a little bet down in my own. The lady has spoken. Oh, shut the hell up. Shoot, I left my wallet near the camp. Get it for me, honey bun. So apparently we're Sonia's whipping boy or whipping girl, whoever you chose. So immediately from Sonia, go straight and then turn uh, sort of to the left where we can see the toilets basically. With Tyrak on it, the wallet is just going to be chilling randomly on the ground, somehow with money still in there, and Jared is looking nasty. Nasty! There was a Tyrak poster as well you can vandalise, and there's a couple about, so if you see any, make sure to give them a little vandalisation in. Uh, but have a little bit of conversation, and then play this a couple more times. Make that dollar, yo! Here we go! Put down some more. Jellybean here is a goddamn winner. I know it. Yes, a real winner. Look who's starting to sweat, sweet cheeks. Clown face here. You stop when I tell you to stop. Ready? Here we go. As it turns out, Sonia needs to chill. Anyway, we're going to turn around and go basically through all the tables. You can see the big bar icon there at the top. There's Tyrak 1996 on the left, and then this bar right here is where it is. So basically straight from where we were with Sonia as we turn around. Um, so you can buy a food and drink, but we don't actually buy a drink. We're just going to head back to where Sonia was and more or less end the level. So, you can, again, if you need energy, of course, there is food and drink. Pro Tyrak. Why? Is that because he gives you $10 goddamn burgers? Jesus Christ. Uh, so, as you can see, then, I just wasted... Well, I'm going to waste money on a drink, actually, I think. In fact, no, I'm not. No, I just carry on. So, we need to go back to where Sonia was. So, that is, obviously, directly in front of us. Go through all the tables once again. And there she is, disappeared, gone, gone like a bomb in your mom. Ah, well, that was a terrible rhyme. Anyway, we need to turn around and just go through all the tables asking where Sonia, Sonia, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Oof, that's a long way. Right, so we're going to turn to the left slightly from the table, head up the steps, go down the linear path here and speak to Adam. And this basically ends the level because Sonia was... Wasted and not Grand Theft Auto style wasted, just drunk wasted. Oh, calm down, kid. She's in the limo. Maybe, but we'll never find him or her now. Besides, Sonia's tired. But thanks for looking after her. I know she's Sonia, but she's a good person underneath. 
In love with Sonia? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. That's our secret, okay? See you around, kid. And that's the end of that chapter. So, do your hitchhiking, bus taxi in, walk in, whatever it is that you want to do. Again, if you don't have the um, achievements for the phone booth for calling home and calling the campaign fund and voting for Senator Flores, obviously make sure to remember to grab them as well whenever you see a phone booth. Nothing's going to stop us now, now, now. So, first thing we're going to do then, we're going to rob these guys once again. Old S&M, the old, there's the condoms fluttering in the wind. So, turn directly around. Don't speak to them yet, we're going to take the money. A lovely job, and we're going to be doing a little mini game in a bit for them as well. So, again, you can have a look in there, it's just a bunch of money in it, which is a nice. Uh, but we are just going to talk to S&M for just a couple of minutes again. What'd you say, kid? Can't hear ya, on account of the wind. Little buddy thanked us for the ride, Stan. Bitch, hard as I try, I can't hear you neither, on account of the wind. I see your lips are moving, and I know you are speaking to me. Yet pains me to say, I cannot hear you. On account of the wind. Bitch, check the back, better still be there. Would if I could, Stan. Now you know I have issues with the lower lumbar. Right, your issues with the lower lumbar. Kid, check the bag in the back. Watch! A furry friend! Aw, oh, that's too bad. Happens with a smaller life form. I should hunt more to discourage them from a wandering app like this. <laughs> But it is not stolen Dorla Bills. <laughs> Most definitely is not. <laughs> we did it, Mitch. We robbed the big one. First Patreon National. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you to say, kid. Hey, little buddy. You've heard of Stan and Mitch, right? I knew it, Mitch. We're famous. Woohoo! But. Here we are, hogging the conversation. Maybe you'd like to pose a topic of your own. Seems that way, don't it? Right me. Proud to say Mitch and I ain't never paid a tax. No, Stan and I don't pay taxes. Proud. So after the conversation, you can have a look and see what is down here. Um, but basically, we're just waiting until they, they stop talking, and then the cutscenes are going to begin, and the mini game will begin. We have a weakness, so the cops are after us. So what we're going to do is basically press the right trigger to throw all the money at the cops, or the copper. So what you need to do then? Okay, no problem, bravs. So get up and then just. Press the right trigger once to shoot, of course, sometimes it can be a bit finicky and a bit quick sometimes, but, uh, you know, just wait until the police officer is more or less sort of in a straight line, and then just keep going. I think you've got unlimited ammo, <laughs> quote unquote ammo as it were, but just hit the cop enough until he baggers off, mate.
for the money! <laughs> Dare I ask who the criminals are now? We lost them! But we lost all our darn money! It's your fault, kid! Yeah, we are! Aren't we? Uh-huh! Kid, for your quick thinking, we'll take you a little ways further, okay? Well, Mitch and I are nice people. No! Really nice! Stand and Mitch! I mean... I'd be happy with that if I was chasing after someone and they threw literal fistful bagfuls of cash at me. I would be rather delighted, no? Yeah, yes I would. So we're on to uh, beep, boop, beep, boop. Or boop, beep, boop, beep, whichever one it is. I really can't remember right now. So, oh, beep, boop, beep. There we go. Close enough. Who cares? It's the same thing, right? So what are we going to do then? So from here, we are going to head around the building. We're not going to go in straight away. Uh, we are going to grab a tape. So as long as you've got $10 redos on you, which hopefully you have, you can grab this tape. If not, that's fine, because again, in New Game Plus, you can um, uh, just, you'll end up replaying a lot of the same chapters anyway, so you can come back to this guy and grab a tape off him as well. But hopefully you've got $10 at least. And I'm going to bump up some energy as well. Why not? I, I am pretty darn loaded right now. Right, so we're going to vandalize a bit of Tyrak poster right there. And they keep going around the building. Because what we're going to see, and what we should be able to see, is a little door for us to nip ourselves in. We're not going to vandalize. No, no, no. There it is. So there's the door. We can just nip in through here. So get yourself in. And then, what can I do for you, kid? there's going to be another tape that we can actually buy in this little, uh, right on the edge, right next to the fan, is another tape that we can buy. Sorry, I was getting a bit ahead of myself there, I thought we were going to speak to Alex straight away. Uh, so you don't actually have to speak to this ginger, we don't need to, the old moustache broski. Uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to Alex on one of these tables, or oh, he's up by the ping pong machine, Pawong, Pwong. So there should be two cassette tapes anyway that you've got now in this area, as long as, of course, as long as you've got enough money. Um, again, if not, don't panic. You will probably end up replaying the game if you haven't got enough cassette tapes later anyway. And this one is easy. All we're doing is just using the left stick to move left and right. Lose to Alex, beat Alex, it's up to you. It's always better if you can beat a 14-year-old kid, though. Not literally, of course. He'll go straight to prison for that. Uh, but if you can beat him in any video games, that makes you... Uh, just a, an absolute legend of a man and a woman. That's just how, again, I didn't make the rules. I just uh, writ them down and made them up. this <sighs> defeats hard to swallow luckily burgers aren't I make games by the way I've even sold some to this diner but they screw me out of my rightful cut yeah they'll get theirs don't worry Totally, dog. Never seen anything like it in all my 14 years. How do they make you feel? Yeah. Could go either way, I guess. Politics are hyper-complicated. I just had an idea. 
Time to take what's mine. Come on! Where they keep their cash. I should be able to hack in. Exactly, Home Slice. Come on! Yo! This digicode is from the age of the dinosaurs. Nah, homie. But I got some tech to use on it. One day, scientists gonna study my brain. Boom! what I tell you? Oh man, door closed behind us. So we can have a little look around in here. Uh, so you don't have to speak to Alex uh, if you don't want to. What we can do, we can open up the two drawers. We're going to take some money, of course, because why not? We've already spent enough buying the damn tapes. We can either pick the lock or break the lock, hopefully, as long as you've gotten, gotten there enough. Um, there's only car keys in here and a newspaper as well, but interacting with the newspaper in there will actually get Alex speaking again. Uh, so we can interact with this newspaper here in the drawer. Um, but if you are wondering why he's not, um, th there's no other dialogue options. Basically, if you go ahead, or if you did manage to actually break in to this cupboard, interact here with the newspaper, and that'll be that. And then Alex will start yammering on, and you can just choose whichever option you want. Basically, what he's now going to give us is the ability to hack. We can hack, hack, hack the bone! Hack the bone! So, your hacking thing, please, and he's going to do that. And luckily, there's no mini game involved or anything. We've now got the ability to hack. So now we can hack into the safe instead of entering the code. There is a code around here somewhere. There is a code um, to uh, take a look at. But, of course, we're always going to get the hack ability, so there's no point. So we get a bunch of money. We're going to hide to the left. So to the left of the safe is some cupboards, uh, some uh, steel cabinets or whatever. We're going to hide in there, and it's basically going to end the cut end the level, more or less. Shh! Be hella quiet! Been in the back room lately? Looks different, like someone's been back here. Yeah, I'll check. Just give me a second. Bad news. It's empty. Okay, I'll sit tight. Uh huh. Okay, bye. Oh, no, 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 no! Hey, who's in there? Run! Hold on, just whatever you took, give it back. It's your lucky day, kid. Get out of here before I change my mind. And of course, since we do have it, we are going to steal the car keys. Again, if not, you uh, choose your preferred destination of wherever you want to go, but hopefully we've all got the car keys so we can nip in. Now remember, like I said, in the next level, when we're inside the car, have a look around all over the car to see if there are any more cassette tapes for us to grab, find, rob, and add to our collection. Now for me, there is going to be one, and I'm going to be able to eject it. Erection, ejection, there it is. So, I've got another collectible. So if you don't have one uh, able to eject, again, just have a look in the glove box, all around the seats and the floors, the back seats and everything, and just to see if there is one in there for you.
And as a reminder, never stop to pick up hitchhikers, young or old. They could be dangerous. And that's today's Sonia Show. Thanks for tuning in. So then, it's going to be a lot of dialogue with Jared until we're going to come to a point where we where he asks us a bunch of questions, which again we have to get right. Otherwise, I think he'll end up shooting us square in the nugget. So again, just keep choosing the dialogue options that I do for the time being. All my cigarettes are wet. are after me. They've been following me up and down these roads. Up and down. I'm starting to think they'll never quit. They want to put a stop to me. I can't let that happen. That's why I'm out here in the rain and not in my cab. They're close. They're too close. I think they're fans of hers. Twisted. Hey, something's wrong with your doors. what you're gonna do. Cheer me up. I just want to have a little chat. So go on. Chat. Yeah. Hope they don't get to certain brigades before I do. Thing. You're already starting to bore me. Guess it's my turn to ask the questions. I'll tell you something else. I've been thinking about killing you. So better give me the right answers. Tell me, do you listen? So, the first option, I actually chose the wrong one. Uh, I would choose sometimes, I think. I choose no, never, and that angered him right up. So, um, yeah, don't choose no, never. Uh, <laughs> Tell me something else, and this is important. What do you think about Sonia Sanchez? 
Now for Sonia, we're gonna say, I can't stand that woman. I cannot stand her. You're not just saying that, are you? And then of course we're gonna say, no, no, I mean it. Trust me, I've got a gun pointed at my spleen right now. Of course I mean it. Did something bad. Real bad. your sympathy. No, all I want is revenge. Who else? Have you been listening to a word I've said? Because of Sonia, my sweet daughter is dead. She'll pay for that. She'll pay dearly. She did not move a finger to save her under those rocks. Not one, nor did those brigades. They'll pay too. Stop the car. I've decided what I'm gonna do to you. I'm going to let you live. But you're going to give me your car. I can drop you off somewhere if you'd like. It is raining. I'm sure, but don't ask me again. Right then, so since we didn't die at the hands of uh, Psycho Batman, or Crapman, sorry, we are now going to get serious. So from here, we're going to go to the right, past the truck, and we're just going to head around this building. More Flores posters coming up here. There's an ATM if you've managed to snag a credit card so far in your run. But we're going to pick the lock um, and come in here. Pick the lock again. And what we're going to see is a set of car keys. Of course, if you can't pick the lock yet, don't worry about it, you'll just have to go through the main entrance and not get uh, um, a set of car keys. And this scratch card. Scratch it, boy. Yay, we win a tenner. Tidy, boy. I'll take that, I'll take a tenner all day. But that is all that's in here then. Some car keys and a switch, apparently, and a scratch card. So close the door just in case somebody finds out and kills us, which they won't. And then what you're going to do is speak to Broski right here. Now... You can offer him a tenor to get in, but what we're going to say is, I hear music inside, and then we're going to pick the top option again, which is, I need to use the bathroom. As long as you've got the cleverness ability unlocked. So, go ahead, go in, and then when you go up to the ice hockey table, you're going to play three games of ice hockey here with Biggest Johnist. Aha, uh -huh, that's me. Half a bear's man than air hockey pack for Satan. <laughs> Wakelings, all of you. But what about you, kid? We've got ourselves a contender.
what you beat me, yo, bud. Fair and square. Yeah, boy! That is my ting. Instead of hitting it straight, I just go back and forth, back and forth, left and right, as fast as I can. Normally, end up scoring an own goal, but, uh, yeah. So that always happens, but again, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, we're going to come back to this point anyway. A bit of conversation is going to happen between Jean and Robert. Robert de Sable Bubble. Believe me. Kid, wake up. Wake up. You're in Chuck's basement, kid. John and myself carried you down here. Come on. I want to show you something. Something big. So, small Rob there is going to nip off. We're just going to grab a couple of things that are in this room. Uh, so he's going through the bookcase there on the right. We'll, uh, well, we'll nip there in just a sec. So, first things first, go directly in front of you on the table to take a couple of dollars. Three right there. Open up this little cabinet and take a set and uh, door key. I thought it was another set of car keys then, but no. Uh, have a look at the table behind you, basically where you started to eat some food. And then we can interact with the bookcase to go down. And again, it's going to be a lot of dialogue options. At the end of it, there's going to be one important option to choose. Um, which does affect the outcome of the game. And I'll let you know when we get there. So, just enjoy the talking again. <laughs> looking for it, but they'll never get their hands on it. Come on, I'll show you. What's the kid doing here, Robert? The kid's political. Besides, aren't we on the lookout for fresh blood? It is. You know, you could become a brigade if you wanted to. Nothing's stopping you. Let me start with a big piece of news. Thanks to Zoe, we have intel showing that Tyrak was behind the collapse. Just like we've always suspected. You're just like us, kid. We tried to end his life that day, but he set off the explosives on the peak. Each year, they set it off to prevent avalanches. Must have set off too much in 86. I have some other big news. I have a plan to rig a Tyrak billboard. We'll attract cops to it by broadcasting a fake signal. When they arrive, boom, we trigger the device. This isn't a huge move, but it's a good start and will send a strong message. Do I have any volunteers? That's great, kid, but I think we'll go with hardened brigades here. I'll do it, Robert. This isn't who we are. They're sending teens to the work camp, John. Protests aren't cutting it. And Flores sure as hell won't cut it either. Robert's right. We need to attack. Now. Alex, our little genius, will help us rig the device. If all goes well, he can build us something bigger and badder for election day. The kid's out, Robert. He doesn't want to be involved in this. We don't need Alex. We can find somebody else to do this. I'm telling you all. Violence will do more harm than good. Funny, don't you think, kid?
Funny because John and his girlfriend were the ones who drove the truck to kill Tyrak in 86. I've changed, Robert. Yes, you have. Look, we should vote and settle this right now. Who thinks the brigades need to be more aggressive? I don't. I do. I do. I refrain. I don't. I don't. I do. Free against free. Let's ask the kid. He's here after all. That's why you brought So here we go then. Coming up is what we need to do. You can either choose violence or not. So for this time, of course, we're going to choose not. No violence. Violence isn't the answer. Uh, yeah, so I don't really care about you, Robert, who look like you should be in prison for lurking outside school bushes. Um, we are going to choose non-violence. Th that is what this playthrough is about. Positivity, sort of niceness, non-violent options, if we can. We all know what we need to do. Get in our cars and leave calmly. Kid, no need to worry. They'll never suspect you. Hey, kid, want to play? Right, then after that, you can play if you want, make some goddamn mother flipping money. But if not, then that's fine. What we can do is just head straight out, go to the right, to exit the bar. There we go. So it's just having a look at the left for some reason. But we're going to exit right to go to the bar. We've got some car keys, so we're going to nip it on by. So away we go. And remember, always have a look and see if there are any cassette tapes just in Casimo. <laughs> So here we are then, Road 96 for the fourth time now, and we're just going to hold and skip this cutscene. Again, always worth having a little watch, but we are at Road 96 for the fourth time, and this time we are going along with Big Zobo. Now this one does take a while, somewhere between like 16 and 18 minutes I think, this one, and that's only because we're doing a lot of walking and a lot of talking with our beautiful Welsh female hunter friend. Otherwise, for now, we're just going to go straight. And then eventually what's going to happen is we are going to see Zoe. And we're just going to follow her for a bit. So enjoy the peace and serenity for now. you're looking for the cave me too follow me we need to get away from the road I know where the cave is at least I think I do my name's Zoe I don't know about you but I've had a pretty intense journey to get here tough but good all I'll say is after everything I'm a different person and that's good believe me I want to help people now, not just myself. So I took off with no plan. Thinking I could find a friend. Saying hi and share. 
like all kinds of teams have been here before us. You're a revolutionary, I see. Just like me. Radio was right. I can't believe this place really exists. It's so cool. Come on, let's check it out. Look, someone left their things behind. So if you want to leave money for others, you can do. I'm not going to do that because I'm selfish pig. But right in the middle there, there is a notebook. And we're going to take the matches. You're going to have to move out of the way so Zoe can have a little chat with herself. Because, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I meant, oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Um, but we're going to have a little chat. We're going to find some logs. There are two sets of logs in this little cave. And there's another two sets of logs outside. Light a fire, and then we're good to go. Me too. This country has ruined so many lives. Come on, let's go back and start a fire. It's cold in here. Grab some sticks, and we'll need a light. Know how to start a fire? If we can start one, we should be warm and toasty in no time.
can I tell you something? You know how earlier I said I wanted to help people? Well, this is how I'm gonna do it. Classified government documents. Showing the brigades didn't cause the collapse in 86, like everyone says. Tyrak did it. Mount National was rigged with explosives to prevent avalanches, like every other year. When the brigades tried to take Tyrak out, he triggered the explosion. He believed there were brigades in the crowd, and there were. He wanted to kill them, even if it meant killing other people too. I know. Uh, let's just say, my dad has a very important position in the government. I'm going to. I mean, I'm going to try. The brigades are gonna help me reach the other side. When I get to the border, they'll send me a signal. And when I cross, if I cross, I'll share this with every foreign news outlet I can. It will be if I make it. I think, I think this could finally take him down. Oh, uh, if you want, sure. We should probably get some rest then. Getting past security isn't gonna be easy. Tomorrow is the beginning of the end of Tyrak. I hope. Oh my god, we've been ditched, boys! We have been ditched. We have been ghosted. We are... This is literally what it must feel like then on a night out. Uh, for one night stands, and they turn around and you're gone, and they like... You son of a monkey bowed. So anyway, what we're going to do is just head past the rock. There is going to be a Walkman on the floor, which will be Zoe's Walkman. But does Zoe deserve her Walkman back after ditching us and ghosting us? Okay, I'm sorry. I look exactly the same as you, so you can't even, you, you shouldn't run away like that. Anyway, head up to the right, and then as soon as we get past walking up to the normal spot, that we are actually going to find Zoe again. Are you kidding me, man? This Walkman is a piece of junk. You should be arrested for trying to hawk this. When you left an open it's door. you! I couldn't it's nice to see you. I thought we'd never see each other again. Listen, I hope you're not angry with me about the cave. I was just trying to help you. Really. Thanks for saying that, man. There's been a delay, but I might cross tonight. That's why I was trying to buy a Walkman. To hear the signal. Maybe I shouldn't say this here. The brigades are gonna send me a signal telling me when it's right to cross. They could be sending me the signal right now. I need a Walkman. Desert skies and summer nights, I know. Ah, I dropped it in the cave, of course. Come on, let's listen to it in my tent. Follow me. Uh, no worries, Zoe. You literally, you, you come up with your excuses, love. Oh, I wanted to do it by myself. No. You, you you had a look at me, and you ran for your life, which, uh... I mean, we, we look the same, so you can't even say nothing. Anyway, 
beautiful view. All we're gonna do is just follow Zoe for the time being again. Plan. I can't tell you here. Come on, let's go to my tent. those trucks lined up to cross. They're selling our resources to the rest of the world. But 99% of our people will never see any of that money. It all goes to Tyrak and his cronies, including my father. Uh, so, can I have my Walkman? Put it on 191.9. This is 191.9. Voice of the Brigades, this is your Papa Baby here. Before we begin, a personal message for Z. This is it. The rooster will sing three times. I repeat, the rooster will sing three times. That was a signal. At three in the morning, a truck will crash into the wall. It's a diversion, something to draw security in. That's when we cross. I've been thinking, having someone with me could actually help. Wait, you do want to come with me, right? I didn't even ask. I would totally understand if... Great. Okay then. I know it's not cool, but we should get some sleep. You know, it's gonna be difficult, even with a diversion. I know I did. But this time, when you wake up, I'll be there. I promise. And then, we'll cross together. Good night. So here we go then, here we go once again, let's try and get across the border. Oh, and there's the truck explosion, it's happening, it's happening everyone, let's go! So, well, since they're distracted, we're going to crack on. Zoe did actually wait for us this time, she didn't ghost us again, which, hey, I wouldn't. Right, so, and there we go. Now, this isn't too bad of a section. Don't worry, guards can't actually, like, catch you or anything. The only thing is a timed section at the end. So, we're heading up the stairs, through to the other side here. Don't worry about that guard. He's just going to nip in and nip out. Zoe's going to say, Yeah, the door's locked. Yeah, yeah. How do you like it? Yeah. So, go across the other side of this platform right here. We're going to head down the stairs. Uh, down the ladder, even. Sorry, I do make some mistakes, don't I? And then to the right-hand side. you got to go right to the right-hand side. There is a switch on the wall. Which, somehow, there are no guards in here at all. Which is always handy. So, climb back up the ladder. And then, of course, what we're going to do is go around to see Big Zobo. Yeah, there she is, Goyle. Right. Just open up the door. Now, immediately, what we're going to do is run and then go into the door on the first right. So, right here. Go right there. Now, Zoe here says, close call, let's go. Uh, if you do get caught by the light, again, it literally doesn't matter, because the only th the only difference is the dialogue, where she says, oh, no, we've been caught, let's run. Otherwise, it all ends up the same, so don't worry if you get got caught by the light there or not. Sometimes Zoe apparently will um, unlock this, and sometimes she won't. If not, just give her a little hand. I think she only unlocks it if you don't have the uh, lockpick skill yet. So, since we do have the pick lock skill, we can help. And then what we're going to do is run down. We're going to jump down, make a break for it to the left. There it goes. So the jump option appears. Now, we have a, a difficult decision to make, but there's only going to be one. And I'm going to tell you what it is. So keep running towards the exit. What's going to happen is the obvious right here. Zoe gets shot. Now, what we're going to do is not save Zoe. 
we're going to not save Zoe this time. So cross the border, leave Zoe to basically perish by herself. Soz, mate. Soz, I know you're, I know you're as beautiful as the uh, male Welsh hunter. Here I am. But no, um, I'm going to have to leave you to perish. And the reason being, so we get the hard choice achievement, but the reason being, if we chose to save Zoe, basically we would be the ones to die. And I, I'm not sure if crossing the border, like I wouldn't, sh I'm not sure if it wouldn't count as crossing the border if we ki if um, Zoe lived and we died. So I wasn't too sure. I didn't want to take that risk. So that's why we had to, you know, sorry, Zoe, you're a beauty, a beauty of a freckly person as you are. We have to leave you die, though, because uh, we don't want to do an episode 7 if we can help it. So, if you're just wondering why, that is... Yeah, that's why. That's why I chose not to save Zoe, and we saved ourselves just in case it didn't count as crossing the border, like I said, and then we'd have to go again for an extra episode. So, that's why I'd done that one. Plus, of course, we've got the achievement, so we're all good. So, we've got two more times left now. So, episode 5 and episode 6 left to go. Uh, so, as you can see, just on the computer screen at the bottom, you've got the green, basically the green uh, running symbols. Basically means that we've crossed the border. So, that's that's why, that's all. It wasn't anything to do with Zoe. It was just that, you know, I'm a selfish dude. And we're selfish achievement hunters. It's just what we do. News to share. <gasps> You're kidding me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go live to our reporter at the wall. Beatrice, can you hear me? Yes, Sonia. I'm here at the wall where an attack has just happened. With me is Darren, who witnessed the event. I'm on? Yeah, so I was sleeping in my tent when I heard a bang. Like a big explosion, you know. When I got out, I saw a huge fire at the wall. Do you know what caused the explosion? I, I think a truck smashed into it. That's right, Sonia. A brigade truck crashed into the wall, killing a teenager on the spot. Nah, you got it wrong. The truck didn't kill the teen. Border forces did. They're shooting kids all the time. Hey, don't grab my mic. Uh-oh. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Wish I could say I'm surprised the brigades are behind this, but I can't. Thank you for your report, Beatrice. Have no fear. The authorities will ensure nothing like this occurs on Election Day. Remember, I'll be there, live. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach Election Day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Vote Tyrak and put the brigades in jail. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. And we're back with everyone's chav slash professional, uh, you know, journalist, Sonia. Now, there is going to be a cassette tape in here, but we won't get that till just a bit later. So, uh, again, have a little look around just in case. So, what you're going to do is have a little chat with her. Take a drink if you need some energy. Wine yourself up. Why no? But have a little chat with Sonia here. And then she's going to ask us to have a look at a fan mail. And then eventually, you're going to scooch over. Right. I know your secret. That you're my biggest... I don't deny it, honey buns. Well, it's written all over you. Now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. There's a normal size remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal sized buttons. Go on. Look at that! That's what rich people call a sunroof. Now go on, 
Come up there. to touch what's it say oh I see put on the pile labeled death threats oh gosh almost every day that's why I got Adam my bodyguard and driver as irritating as he is do you want me to turn the audio off Sonya Question I ask myself all the time. Believe me. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. I've been getting letters for ten years, Snookins. Yet here I still am. Sonia? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. For the Sonia show, of course. I never miss it. Right, so, go and get your buns toasted right over by Sonia's toasted buns. What we're going to do, immediately look left, move the pillow, and there is going to be a cassette tape underneath here for us to grab as well. So, there we go. That is going to be another collectible found. And if you want to as well, you can watch the TV if you want, but keep having a little look around because there is a wallet right next to us. If you uh, get successful, like I just did, we get a credit card. Henry Denton, whoever Henry Denton is. Anyway, when we see an A... If on this playthrough we are able to see an ATM, we can actually take money out with that credit card. So, uh, well, there we go. Job done. Otherwise, we're just going to keep speaking to Sonia, and it's going to start getting a bit rocky in just a bit. Yeah, I know the brigades are behind it somehow. Please, she will do no such thing. Wait, you feel that? We're slowing down. Ring Adam for me, would you? Yes, Sonia? It wasn't me who rang Adam. So stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonia's biggest fan? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. More and more. It's this upcoming election. It's given people... Oh, what's that word? Hope? You suck! GNN is Tyrick News! They think my station is owned and operated by the state. Which it's not. I mean, not 100%. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. Hey, get out of my way! Yeah, you, loser! Get out of my way! Hey, get out of here, loser! Sonia, please get back in the limo. So when all the anger is done and dissipated, we can have a look and look under. If you're successful, you'll grab a couple of coins. If not, you're going to have no coins. That's yeah, pretty basic right there. Um, so just keep speaking to Sonia, and eventually she's going to kick us out because we've angered her, which is our fan, just fan. Don't you, honey pie? Uh oh, they have rocks again. Sonia. 
for any doubt. Exciting, no? I'm joking, sweetie. But I'm not when I say I want you out of my limo. I thought you were my biggest fan. Adam! Drop this loser off. Yes, Sonya. So long, kid. And there we go, so Sonia sucks dirty little sheep bows. Right, infinity it is now. Um, and of course I've just realised I'm talking about the last, <laughs> I'm talking about the last level as we begin the next one, and then you're probably thinking, what the hell are you on about? Um, but of course this is in the order of my game, so <laughs> that's why it makes more sense to me than it probably will to you. Anyway, we're going to run down and we're going to see our favourite Ms. Rash. F Rash, you know, Fanny, Fat Fanny Rash, she's um, uh, had a little blowout, so we're going to help her, do a couple of things to help her change her tyres, if you, there's nothing wrong with helping a Fanny out, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's just too, it's just too easy, please never name, never name your kid Fanny, okay, just, just don't do it, alright, because you, you'll have people like me, who are not cruel, but just banterous, and, well, I'm a douchebag, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just some car trouble, kid. Right, there she is then, so Ms. Rash, and especially if your surname is Rash or something, then just don't name, don't name your kid Fanny, Jesus. You right, me? no, Fanny, yeah, what's up your Fanny? I'm just trying to help, I'm just trying to be nice. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to say my mom taught me a trick. My mom taught me a trick with her Fanny, uh, it was the worst day of my life. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So what we're going to do, we're going to take off the tyre. Going to kick that off lavely. You're damn right. Now, I used to be a fanny whisperer until uh, Tyrak took over, but there we go. A fanny, like a whispered to the cop fanny. That's, that's what I meant. Right, so what we can do now is... <laughs> we aren't going to put a spare tyre on without the spare tyre, so it's right by fanny's foot. So grab that, put it on. <laughs> Alright, fanny foot. Right, there we go. The pump is behind us. So there we go. Grab the old air pump and housing trousen. And then this one's a bit weird. So we're going to start pumping. And then you just keep spamming the A button until you get it into the green zone. So there you go. So from sort of 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock there, um, get it in the green zone. And then eventually she's going to go, Oh, here's the stopper as well. I forgot, douchebag. So what you need to do is get it... Uh, keep pumping until it's in the green zone, and then quickly put the stopper on. So you need to do it until it's on around 3 o'clock. Right there, and then put the stopper on quickly. And job's done! Up the fanny bum! Right, so... Uh, now, from here, what's going to happen is it's going to start raining. We're going to have a lot of conversation. Um, it's going to be kind of depressing, so... Well, enjoy it! Yes? <coughs> Make sure you're not at the border that day, okay? I can see the brigades trying something like an 86. All right, kid. Noted. You could say that, yeah. You could definitely say that. With you? Hmm. That's all right. No offense. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. Yeah. <sighs> Me too, Peach Fuzz. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, 
he got upset. I told him who his biological parents were, or as much as I know about them anyway. I always told him I didn't know. I was lying. It was hard on him too because of who they were. They were members of the Black Brigades. Yeah, I guess it is. You know about the attack in 86, right? That's the day I met my son. Yeah, I was working security to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. Everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. Truth is, I think they're dead, kid. Killed by those rocks. What other explanation is there? I, I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. Thanks, Peach Fuzz. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. So here we go then, on to another John level and the pursuit of happiness. Tasty as cream. Well, I hope it's not a rock cream pie. Yeah, you don't want a cream pie a rock. Yeah, meh, meh. Cream, cream pie, I love cream pies. Yeah. Anyway. No, like pie literally made of like, you know, like cream. Anyway, I'm just digging a further hole right here. So what we're going to do, we're just going to interact with all of the items just about. Uh, John's stuff before he starts having a little chat with us again. What we can do is steal a drink We can open up things and take a look inside um, Basically, we're gonna keep doing this until he starts talking to us anyways, so uh Yeah, I feel it in my bones kid something good real bad Count on it, young blood. I don't trust the electrical system. Appreciate it.
Right, to progress the story on, just take a look outside of your window, and that will progress the story and get a cutscene going. So that's why I'm just looking around like a bit of a noob at the minute, because I forgot to look out of a window. Okay. Got your ears on? Over. Ooh, that's Mama Bear, young wolf. We got a CB type thing going on. I've never actually met her, but I think I'm in love. We got CB nicknames for one another. I'm her papa, she's my mama. I want to ask her out, but I've been out of the game too long. Can you help? Thanks, kid. All right, I'm going in. Hi, beautiful. How's my CB crush doing today? Beautiful? <laughs> well, if you say so. I'm all right. Oh, but my boss is writing me about this illegal transmitter. Yes, she is, young blood. Never thought I'd love a cop before. Honestly, I'm starting to think a ghost is moving in. Speaking of transporting, what are you hauling today, Papa? Something just as intriguing. Pineapples. <laughs> Young blood, it's going well. I'm gonna ask her out. Any advice? Mama Bear, aren't you getting tired of talking like this? Oh, you... you don't want to talk anymore, Papa? No, no. What I mean is, we, we should meet in person. Look, we got a nice CB thing going on. But I got to meet you, Mama. Oh, uh, I don't know, Papa Bear. What we have is... Nice. But maybe it is time we met. You're not messing with me, are you? No. Name the time and place. I'll be there. Woohoo! Yeah! Pilot, young blood. Get in the back. You know how to handle a nail gun? These low I think they're gonna get my pineapples. Ha! Can't legally carry a gun, so you'll have to shoot them with nails. Right, so we can uh, interact with the top if you want. Don't worry about that though. What we're gonna do is say I'm not a crack shot, or if you want to, but what we're actually gonna do is find the nail gun which is right next to the top. So shoot the lock to open the doors. And I do it first time. Right. Now, what I would try and do is just hit the tires. They give off quite a bit of big damage. Um, otherwise, just keep shooting forward at the windscreen, you know, try and kill the dude. Keep doing this, though. You think of a time and place? Young blood! Think Mama Bear likes seafood? Papa Bear? I'm here, darling. You like gumbo? Damn! They're back! Show no mercy! What road are you on, Papa Bear? We got a call. There's a shootout on Route 220. Oh, really? Get him off, Buck Easter, young blood! Right, so, since he's gone to the side, <laughs> you ain't gonna shoot him from there, buddy boy. 
So, open up the other lock. The other gate right here. Finish him off. If you haven't shot the tires by now, shoot him to death. And then eventually he'll go... Kablamo, Marge! Oh, yeah! Way to go, young blood! You're a cold-blooded sniper! Some like it hot, some like it spicy, or if you're an absolutely white person, you know, a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, that too hot, too spicy for me. No, thank you. That's only if you're the whitest of the white people, though. Right, so from here, what we can do is go to the right. We're going to grab another tape. So I've got $12. So we've got just about enough, which is why, like I said, I always try to go for the one with the most money at least, just in case this happens, which this time, of course, it did. So... That's what, another collectible tape done. I think... Ooh, I'm not even going to guess what I've got by now. But obviously have a look on yours if you want. See how many you've got. And remember we've still got plenty of levels left in which to get those tapes. So, we're going to go all the way around. And not go through the entrance just yet. Because we're going to open up this little side door type thing. We're going to have a look inside. And in one of these drawers is another cassette tape. So that'll be yet another cassette tape uh, for us. So that should be two on this level. If you've bought one and if you've just grabbed one here. Pick the lock here and get another couple of car keys. Which will come in handy. It'll come in mega handy later on. And if you want, you can take the crackers as well if you need in to eat. But I somehow missed those. So job done, mate. Job done. Right, so this time we're going to go back around the building and head inside. And then we're going to go and talk to the cashier. Welcome to Super Supper. Wanna put some coins in my pig? I know it's not professional, but I put this pig here when Herb's not looking. I got dreams, bro. You think I wanna work here all my life? Oh, bro, you're worse off than I am. You know what? Herb's in the back, doing whatever it is Herb does. I'm gonna hook you up, but play it cool. And if you want something else, you'll have to get it from the menu. I could lose my job, and as terrible as it is, I'd rather not. I don't know. With the brigades, it might be too violent for my taste. Oh, no. This here, ladies and gents, is what you'd call a robbery. Woohoo! Nobody move. Dudes, just take what you want. And it's everybody's favorite S&M condom headed robbers. So, we, <laughs> hilariously, what's going to happen now? These two are genuine. I love these guys. They do let generally look like, you know, gimps. You know, you know, like sex sex dolls and gimps and stuff like that. They they look like them. Um, 
course, you wouldn't tell a robber that to his face, because he would probably shock and blast you straight in the ass. So, what we're going to do, he's going to give us the piggy bank. You know, they're not going to do it themselves, which is annoying, so we just need to go around collecting everyone's money. There is a timer. Uh, there is a timer, but it's plenty of time again. Like like everything, like every other mini game in this game, time is plentiful. That's my piggy bank, man. Okay. Mitch, get the pig. I don't think I should leave the door, Stan. You know, in case uh, someone comes in. Are you killing me, Mitch? Then do it! Take the pig and get everyone's money! Time to donate to the Scan and Mitch Fund! So let's do this thing, man. Right, uh, you can't actually speak to these guys, I don't think, at first. So we're going to speak to this other lady here. So... Uh, don't, just ignore, you know, these, uh, I don't know what you're supposed to be, sort of John Lennon or whatever you are. Uh, John Lennon looking woman. So what are you going to say, I don't want to mess with them, just give me the money, just give me the money. Give me your money now. There you go, thanks very much. Right. Uh, absolutely, yes sir. <laughs> that woman's up to something. <laughs> right, anyway, go ahead and speak to Richard, who was scared for his life, which to be fair, if only you had this music playing, you'd feel a bit more at ease, wouldn't you? But anyway, just grab the money off this lady. Then what we need to do is burst into the toilet on the right-hand side. Grab the money off the guy taking a dump. You didn't think we were in there, but we did. Uh, so he's so scared, which of course, again, is totally understandable. But, you know. Bro, money. Come in. <laughs> so, guy taking a crap with his trousers on for some reason. Mate, you're going to need a lot more than money to get over that one. Now, just say, Richard, I really need your money. Oh, no, if you give me your money, I'll leave. Sorry, wrong one. So, and then with that one, I think that is pretty much done. It is. So, you can either give it to Stan or Mitch. Uh, for no particular reason, I give it to Mitch. And that is job done. Now, are you coming with us? Yeah. Wouldn't be a good robbery without a hostage. Stan and Mitch rules. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Mitch, how much is in the pig? One hundred twenty-two dollars. Hundred and twenty-two dollars. Best robbery ever! <laughs> <laughs> We're rich! Go on. I know you're dying to ask two robbers like us a question. Oh yeah, me and Mitch were just talking about that. Yeah, it's it's like the air is crackling with electricity. That would be quite unexpected. Yeah, quite unexpected. We're not gonna hurt you, kid. Just needed a fake hostage. Stan and Mitch rules. We better get going, Stan. Here, kid, for your emotional duress. So they got $122 and they give just give us 30. Well, I'm all up for that. If that's if that's as easy as it takes, then job done. So again, we managed to get a car. Well, I managed to get a car, so hopefully you did as well, and then we can be on our way. Again, remembering every time you're in a car into the next level, have a look on the floor. Let's make sure there's no uh, cassette tapes, or there are a cassette tape or two. Because, of course, it would come in mega handy in order to get that achievement out of the way. Now, I get the tape achievement out of the way pretty much sort of halfway between um, sort of episode six. So don't worry if you think, oh, I'm nowhere near it yet. Y you can't actually miss it. So, again, don't panic. So here we are then, we're into a bit of a gold, gold finger. He's the man you love to touch, but you mustn't touch. His finger sounds good in your ear. And when he fingers you, you mustn't fear. Cause gold finger can be fingered by anyone. Right, anyway, speak to Alex. Keep speaking to Alex, have a look in the car around, if there's nothing. 
I'm so sorry, by the way. That was a terribly awesome song. Huh? It's the bane of my existence. Actually, this kid I met just helped me with an energy problem. Yeah, not as smart as me, but smart. Yo, go on. Ask me a question. I can multitask like an MFR. Don't know yet, but it seems like something big is gonna go down. Tired could spin whatever happens in his favor. Now, let me get back to this beta. Too. One day, everyone will have a computer like that. I'm telling you, small computers are the future. Hungry? Ask your small computer for food. Lost? Ask your small computer for directions. That's the future, homie. I'm telling you. Yo, are we gonna play this bad boy or not? So we're going to do a little playing games now, which is just awesome. I'll take that. And all it is then, you just press the left stick to move. Um, the we Basically tanks, so we're two tanks against each other. It's so left stick to move, A button to shoot. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all it is. If you can be a better aimer than I can, then of course you won't have no pee stains on your floor. I mean, uh, you'll beat him a lot quicker. So, so, sorry, ignore that. Yo, maybe we can make it better. Maybe the player has to gather ammo? Maybe the bullets bounce off the walls? What do you think? Let me just... Boom! Game time, dog. I hate liars. Okay, let me change this real quick. Done. So, what do you think now? Nice. Here's an advance on the profits. And there are sure to be profits. I ain't playing around. Yo, one day 100 people will play the same game at the same time. Now that's a good idea. We gotta make that game one day. You're blowing my mind, homie. No one. I just picked it up on my own. My intellect is vast and sponge-like, dog. It... 
It's all good, homie. It's just... I don't know my parents. Not my real parents, anyway. You know the attack in 86? Yeah. Well, I think my bio parents died in the attack, too. The really sad part is, I got no memories of them. None. No matter how hard I try, I just have this picture. It's from GNN, the day of the attack. They appear for just one sec. I learned a lot about computers enhancing this. Thanks, homie. Guess I needed to talk and didn't know it. And that's why I'm on the road. They're probably gone. You know, buried underneath the rocks. But I want to find out as much about them as I can. Thanks, man. You can drop me off at the next location. Yo, your fuel is low, dog. You're gonna run out of gas fast. Thanks, homie. Appreciate that. Now, crank some music. We best ride in style. Road 96 for the fifth time, providing you haven't died or been arrested yet. So here we go. We're going to pick the lock. I assume you would have got that by now. Well, it just gives you an extra $10 dollary doo doos So that'll come in handy so you can buy some food with it. Um, with the money that you've got. So we're going to get through this. Which again, I think this is going to take around 10 minutes or so. Kick the stone. Yeah, you're hardcore. I'm so pissed off I kicked the stone. Ugh. Like, you know those guys like on Nights Out where they like... They're all pissed off, so they kick a bin, or they punch a post. And normally, it, it's them who then breaks their foot or their, their wrist. That's always funny. Anyway, we immediately... <laughs> it's always funny to see angry people on a night out. Apart from if they got knives and stuff, of course. Um, or in America, guns. Because, you know, that's, um, that's the American culture. And the British culture is apparently knives. So, right, we are back by the waterfall anyway. Um, the Canadian culture, by the way, is just hugs and kisses. Which is just awesome. So we can add a stone. I keep adding a stone anyway. But we're just going to head up and to the right to the normal place. Yeah, that's why I love the Canadians. Because they just... Yes, I'm going to fight you. But I'm going to do it through hugs. Ah oh, man. Bring me the hugs! In just a few days, the nation will honor the victims of 86 and elect its new president. When historians look back on this September 9th, many will consider it the most important day ever in the history of Petria. It's perfect. The entire country will be watching. I'm sorry Zoe didn't make it to the other side, but we did. And we have copies of our documents. <laughs> Intelligence says the brigades will try something, Mr. President. If they do, I'll crush them once and for all. Of course, I'll be here all day, reporting live at the scene. 
This has been Sonia Sanchez for GNN. And cut! Hey, it's my two favorite condom-headed dudes! What are you guys doing here? Well, we're gonna find out exactly what they're doing here right now. Look, Sonya's not seeing anyone right now, alright? Hi, kid. This guy won't let us see Sonya. He thinks we're fans. Aren't we, Stan? We're... we're more than that. We're her biggest fans. Nice one, Stan. Yeah, yeah you heard the kid. Move along, or I'll move you myself! That goes for you two also! Come on, Mitch. We made the hairstylist upset. We'll talk to Sonia later. Oh, are you crying, Sonia? A girl. Dad here. In 86. Sonia? Mitch, behind the rocks. You see what I'm seeing? Uh-huh. Come on! Stop right there! You again? Wait, where's the other one? Mitch, the beast! <laughs> what the? Woohoo! We got him, Mitch! We got the would-be killer! Woohoo! Stan? Mitch? Wait, you know these two SNF guys? No, damn! They're the big brothers! Hi, Sonia. Oh, hi, Sonia! You two come here and give me a hug! Now! Uh, right away, yeah. ma'am. On our way! It's so good to see you two! It's been too long! I don't want to rain on your family reunion, but he's gone. Not a problem. We'll be here on election day, if he comes back. Yeah, we'll be here. Stan! Aw, oh, Mitch. Oh, I'm sorry I've been so distant. I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry about it, Sonia. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're a family. Aw, oh, you guys are the best. Give me another hug. That leaves just the brigade. Time to cut the head off the snake. Hmm, well, how interesting. Uh, so everyone nipped off. Uh, the S and M were Sonia's brothers. I honestly didn't see that one coming, which was a bit, bit of a good, good shocker. Um, yeah. So, anyway, here we are, back again. Then we are going through the tunnels this time. So we're gonna grab some food. We're gonna grab some drink. We're gonna nip up with the energy. What you buying? What you selling? And do not waste any money on the fortune pig. You can shove that fortune pig and stick it with the sunshines straight out of your butthole. Anyway. So, to get through to the tunnels, we're going to go to the left, where we sort of went uh, from Gary earlier on. Basically up to that same bit where the lady, the, the smuggler, robbed us of 50 quid. Actually, 60 quid. Uh, anything this time? Mm, nope, no, apparently we're good this time, so we can just carry on. Okay, again, he might talk to you. If he does talk to you, just um, answer with what you answered earlier. I'm just looking across, I just want to cross, and he'd be like, Well, why didn't you just say so? Go on, get. So we're not going to bother talking to anyone. You can have a little look around, see if there's any food to um, eat for some energy. Otherwise, we're just going to keep going straight, and we're going to head straight through to El Tunneloroni. 
because of course we can hack into it this time. So I'm assuming by this point you should have had the hack ability. Um, otherwise, I'm not actually sure how you would get through. Um, unless you get a key off one of the teenagers or something. So if that's the case, if you can't actually get through and you don't have the hack ability, talk to everyone and they'll tell you a way to get through. Of course, because I had the hack ability, wasn't, um, that wasn't an issue for me. Um, hey, go steam yourself, you bird snitch. Right, so when we get to the bottom here, what we're going to do, we're going to go through that uh, crawl vent in a minute. We're going to take the torch, so turn to the left and go ahead and crawl yourself in. There we go. Turn to the left. Now there's a door right here at the end, which we can pick the lock if you have the ability. And we're going to open that. And there is going to be a little... The only thing that's in here is a little something to eat. Now you can eat it yourself, or you can keep it and give it to a man that is starving at the end of the road. Um, I decided to eat it myself because I actually didn't realise there was a guy who wanted something to eat. So, my bad, broski boy. Um, so you can open up the door now, head on through, we're going to have a little chat and a conversation with the guy. And he says, oh, I'm so hungry, and we're, we're literally just going to say, um, I'll just go and find some food for you, okay? I'll be back soon. Bye! I thought you were a guard. Please, don't shine that at me. My wife and I came down here to cross. These are our boys. She went off to look for a way out. When we got stuck, at one point, we heard gunshots. She never came back. The path back there is blocked. Landslide. See for yourself. But, I mean, this guy seems to be a bit silly. He's literally just, you know, they, they, they're just chilling out here when... And he said, oh, they, that way's blocked. Okay, well, how about going down this exit, then? And then turning left, and then you'll be able to get out. Um... So here, at the fork, we're going to turn left. I mean, we literally could have just gone back and said to the guy, Hey, look, did you know there's an exit down there? And then go left, and then you're all good. Uh, but apparently, we're douchebaggery at that. Um, so we're going to hack. Again, there is a magnetic card which you can grab. I'm, again, I'm not sure from where. Sorry, <laughs> because I had the hack ability. Which, again, if you did and you were able to get into to the tunnels this way, then you're all good. So keep running through, and that is the end of episode 5, and we've got one episode left to go. Bring it! Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to the Sonia Show. Well, viewers, another robbery has occurred on our roads. This time, the victim was one of the sponsors of our show, Super Supper. Bizarrely, I'm told the robbers used a pig to collect their funds. Speaking of Super Supper, have you tried their latest delicious burger? Your stomach will thank you for it. Well, you may have heard the rumors that a teen fled our country using abandoned tunnels running under the wall. The story is false. I was told this by no other than our great leader himself. No tunnels like this exist, said Tyrak. He even joked that if they did, he'd use them to avoid the traffic jams at the border. <laughs> Now, let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach election day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Don't support the violence. Vote for Tyrak. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. 
Let's view today's missing team report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. And that has been the Sonia Show. Oh yeah, right, so I've got a good team with lots of energy and lots of money. Of course, you'll probably be playing this at a different time, so you're thinking, what the hell are you on about? But as we begin, turn to the right here, and if you do have enough money, we're going to buy another um, cassette tape, which should be, if we take a look here, that should be 16 out of 18. Um... Yeah, so 16 out of 18, there we go. Now remember, there, are, like I've said a couple of times through the game, there's not specifically 18 tapes in the game. There are still plenty of levels where you can get plenty of tapes in it. So don't worry if you've got a few less than me or if you've got a few more. Well, if you've got a few more, you'll, you'll have got the achievement. So vandalize those posters. I do ask this lady if she's got any food. If you need a bit of energy, then... Um, well, I think she always gives you food, to be honest, but... Happy with that, Mayor. Happy with that, Mayor. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're just going to head in through the front, and we're going to do a little bit of bartending. Now, you don't have to get... You can literally just stand still if you want, pour them the wrong drinks, whatever it is. Um, but there's going to be three people that want a drink, and all you're going to do is just pick it up and serve it to them. That's all, that's all you're going to do, literally. So, um, you can't get it wrong, and it's just a case of waiting until... Jared... Until crap man comes through the door. Goddamn right. Hear that? We got ourselves a teen bartender. Couldn't be worse than you. Screw you, Debbie. Okay, kid. The key to bartending is never losing your poop. While well, being in the kitchen scrubbing dishes, the dishwasher didn't show either. The world is full of degenerates. So for me, there was also another random collectible, another cassette tape, which may turn up for you, it may not. So if we turn around, right next to the cash register is another cassette tape. Again, this is one that may appear for you, and it may not. So if it does, great. If not, again, do not panic. It'll be fine. So there's all a whole bunch of different drinks on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. If you want to know where she, her motherland spirit is, it's if you turn around and look on the bottom of the bar, there is another couple of bottles there, which I didn't realize until later on. So, <laughs> you, I'm gonna, just gonna keep feeding them the wrong drinks. I'm only gonna feed, basically if you do keep feeding them the right drinks, um, they'll give you a lot more tips and stuff like that. So, so where we are, if you look directly down now, then you'll see more drinks underneath. But again, I failed to realize that. So, just keep going anyway until the end and crap man pops his ass through. Motherland spirits. Thanks. Here's a tip. Go buy yourself some diapers. Uh, my motherland spirit. I didn't order this sludge. Hey, kid. A nation potion and make it snappy. I'll have a TLR. Here we go. More motherland spirits. Like I said, a TLR. Uh, my motherland spirit. I want a TLR now! Motherland spirit! Motherland spirit! Motherland spirit! Here we go. Motherland spirit! Motherland spirit! Motherland spirit! God damn you three! Jesus Christ! No wonder this bar's staying open. You bloody three alcoholics, but there. How quick you get those drinks down, and how well are your employees paying you? God damn! The Jared. Right, so here comes Crapman, and we have to make him his usual, apparently. Otherwise, he'll kill us, apparently. 
So there it is then, one good swallow, one, meh, one motherland spirit and one heartless whatever the other one was. So this is where I find out where the other stuff is. So there's motherland spirits <laughs> right there, whoops. So there's the good swallow right next to it. So um, stick that inside the cup, make sure Jared swallows it. Remember, it's Motherland Spirit and Heartland Refreshment, just uh, just in case, just so I don't get it wrong. So, grab a Motherland Spirit, Motherland Spirit, Motherland Spirit, with that lady who is very um, keen on a Motherland Spirit, shall we say. And the last one there, the Heartland Refreshment. So that is going to be on the left-hand side of the bar, right in the middle, in the middle row. So, add it, give it a shake, and let the cutscene commence. for the victims of the attack is coming up. My daughter was one of the poor souls who died under those rocks. Well, bad things happen sometimes, don't they? Oh, finally done with the dishes, kid. Jesus, these people are disgusting. Anyway, thanks for the help. Here's a meal on the house. Jared, I didn't see you there. Kid, uh, you should go. It's uh, getting late. Well, cheers, Big Daddy. That's us done for the day. But before we leave, let's turn to the left of where we were just at the bar. We can pick the lock. Again, if you've got the ability, we can pick the lock to go in. Um, otherwise, you can just leave and hitchhike home or hitchhike to the next place or anything. But we're going to take a credit card. Henry Denton. God, he's losing his credit card like hell. Uh, I'm pretty sure that is the only thing in here. No, sorry, there is the uh, steel um, cabinet, whatever it is as well, which has a nice little car key in there for us. So make sure to grab that. And then we can just leave. Jared's going to say, Hey, kid, tell me where she is. Where is she? You know, all that Batman, Crapman stuff. But he does tell us not to call a taxi in case we die, which is nice of him, which is very nice. So what we can do, there is an ATM outside here, so if you were able to get the card, pop it in. And, well, just grab out $60 there. So for some reason, there's a 35% chance that you can grab out $40, or you, there's a, just a 100% chance that you can grab out $60. Well, spank you very much. Spank your hairy crutch, pal. Right, so this is the end of the level, so do what you want to do. We, well, I, <laughs> again... I am going to drive and steal this car. You hitchhike, bus or taxi or whatever it is that you have to do. Wild Tangs. Bam, bam. It is the condom heads of Scott and Mitchell. No, Stan and Mitch, sorry. Oh, I forgot the names then. Anyway, this is another one of those that, in fact, you can have a look in your car right now, see if there's any cassette tapes in there. Uh, one that you can eject, or one by your feet, or one by the back seat, or whatever. Otherwise, we can just choose the dialogue options that I choose here, and then we're going to come up to a quiz which we need to get right. Otherwise, we get boom, boom, powed square in that. Mound or head or something. Our 
crew not starting outside the laundromat after we rob it, humiliating. Uh, you think I don't know that, Stan? It's your fault, you know. My fault? Oh, that's rich, Mitch. You know what, Mitch? Maybe you should find another Robin partner. Well, uh, maybe I should. Like this kid. Fine, take the kid. She's clearly a criminal anyway. Hold on, hold on. Before we end the best Robin duo ever, let's take a deep breath. Yeah, we shouldn't rush into this. This is big. I know. Let's put the radio on. It'll help us forget about the laundromat. Good idea! A laundromat robbery happened about an hour ago. Ah, jeez! Witnesses say the two robbers, both dressed like they were into S&M role-playing, argued the entire time. Though the suspects only made off with $72 in quarters, they are said to be armed and very dangerous. If you see them, please call the police immediately. We're laughing stocks. And Sonya reporting it, no less. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess that's it. Stan and Mitch are breaking up. Go on and partner up with the kid. Yeah, I guess that's it. Wow. Only one thing left to do. To be sure this is the right move, and I'll give the kid Mitch's ultimate bank robin quiz. Yeah. Four questions by which Mitch evaluates your criminal mind. Get enough questions right, and you and Mitch become robin partners. But don't, then Mitch and I... So, here it is then. Mitch's um, ultimate bank robber quiz. <laughs> so, so again, it's these little instances where you think, you probably think that you can't die, but th th you will actually die, quite easily actually. So, what of the following, what is the best location to rob? Oh, uh, ticking, but the clock's not actually ticking. So, what you need to choose is, number B, a fast food joint. So, they're on about the best place to rob, because it's not just about the money, but it is a fast food joint anyway. Well, Mitch will give you his reasons now. Security. And there's food. Though jealous, I will admit, I am very impressed. Question number two. When is the best time to rob? So, when is the best time to rob? We're gonna say when it's foggy. When it's foggy, that is the correct answer. Yeah, that is the best time to rob. Visibility is low, and mysteriousness is high. Now, the third, I love the Who Wants to Be Millionaire vibes, by the way. But I got this one wrong. I believe the correct answer here is a helicopter. So choose a helicopter. It's not a motorcycle, and apparently it's not a super fast car either, because, uh, well, it's kind of obvious, apparently. So choose a helicopter, which is apparently less obvious. Right, okay. <laughs> There we go, we got one wrong, but that's fine. You get three strikes with four questions. So, for the final question, question four. So, there's no way that I can obviously lose now, which is always handy. Right, so the best thing to do with your money at your hideout is... Bounce with it on the bed. Now, I'm not going to ask exactly what the brothers get up to with bouncing money on the bed. But that is the correct answer anyway. Yes, that is the best thing to do. We need to not explain why, for obvious reasons. Wow, the kid passed. Uh, no, I've never even passed it, and it's my quiz. So I guess you and the kid are gonna partner up now, eh? Stan, hold on. Yes, Mitch? Though, the kid and I's Robin compatibility is through the roof. No doubt. 
I cannot imagine Robin with anyone but you. Nor I, Mitch. Nor I. Remember the Super Supper? What a robbery that was. I'm glad we kept the pig as a souvenir. Come on, let's keep the car. Uh, and ditch the kid. Sounds good to me, Mitch. You hear something, Mitch? I did not, Stan. Stan and Right then, so on to Suspicious Minds. Now, this, I don't know if this was just a long one, or it seemed long, um, but it's actually not that long, so I think it just seemed long. So what we're going to do then from here, we're just going to head straight into the reception, or the recession. Oh, welcome to uh, 2022 Britain. Welcome to the recession, thanks to the goddamn Tories. Uh, putting everything up to except the wages, which is just incredible, right? Anyway, um, Ms. Rash is going to appear. Officer Rash is going to appear. And she's going to ask us a couple of things. We're basically going to go in a hotel room with um, with, with with a bit of Fanny. Yeah, tidy. How is it looking, Fanny? Almost ready. I'm on the trail of the brigade transmitter. Heard about it? The brigades have a transmitter they're using to broadcast anti tyrak propaganda. Naturally, it's highly illegal. These guys are terrorists, you know? I believe the person moving it frequents this motel. In fact, I think he or she was here last Sunday. I do, yeah. The guests here don't talk to cops. Truth is, I think some of them are brigades. I don't know exactly. Maybe the clerk back there. To be transparent with you, the brigades tried to kill me not long ago. And I'd really like to bust up their comms. I knew I could count on you, kid. Everything you need is on the wall. Take it. So go ahead and grab the big um, portrait profiling thing off the wall. And then uh, Big Rash is going to keep speaking for a minute. Be sure. Talk to the guests and scribble out the ones that don't match. Right, please ignore me. I'm just having a look in Fanny Rash's bathroom. Um, toilet. Don't know if that's mold or bleach, but that bath. Ugh. What in the hell is that? That looks like someone has just unplugged a load of blood from a particular area on a certain piece of body. Um, like, you know, if you've been shot or, you know, been stabbed or something. That's maybe why Miss Rash is in here. She got shot and she needed to bleed out in the bath. That's all I'm talking about. So, let's get out of here. Eventually. I hate to see someone die for any reason. Okay, let's get going. Right then, so here we go. For some reason, I just didn't like this level. There's nothing too hard or anything about it. I just, yeah, just did not like it at all. So 007 is our room, so you're not obviously going to knock on there. But we're going to pick the lock of the room next to us, which is 008. And I wasn't going to keep this one in, but it's pretty much worth doing because since we've looked at things, there is a set of car keys in here that we are going to grab. Uh, look at the portraits. You can look at the portraits, but they mean... In fact, I think you know who we're actually going for, don't you? Yeah. There's only one guy who looks remarkably familiar there. So, we can take some money. We can open up the drawer. Uh, but I think this one has... Uh, yeah, so one of them has the car keys in. So, that's why we came into this room. Right, and then after this, we can just head out and start speaking to some of the guests. So, first one. Uh, enclose the door if you want. I don't think it makes too much of a difference at all. There's nothing here at the right-hand side now. Worth a shot, just in case there was something uh, deliciously hiding right there. 
So what we're going to do is go all the way down to 006. Obviously, if they've got the vacant sign on the door, it uh, kind of means that nobody's in. So it's pointless knocking. <sighs> Makes sense. Right, so speak to 005. Now, a little bit of conversation is going to happen. And then you w watch how she describes the person staying in 003. All right, it's John, okay? It's John. So how she describes John is then what you need to put on the pro profile portrait in order to scribble some out. I him well, in fact. He was handsome. A big man with short hair, large hands, strong hands. So, first time that we could do then, obviously, I mean, we... <laughs> God damn, someone's thirsty. So what we're going to choose then is short hair. Obviously, John at the minute is on the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, wait, sorry, you might not have got that far. Okay, well, I've just ruined that for you, but that's fine anyway. Um, so what we need to do... Sorry if I did ruin that for you. So what we're going to do is choose short hair... So that your profile portraiting looks like this, 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 this. Okay, looks like this. So on John's one, there's the, the four all looking good. So validate that and that is all good. So next we can go to the next door, which is 004. And again, it'll be the same sort of conversation. Listen out to what he says and then use that on the profile in. I tried avoiding him. He frightened me. He was the same age as me, and I don't consider myself old. You don't think I'm old, do you? Hell yeah, I do, buddy. You look about 50, so go get. The key is salad, lots of salad. I don't think that's the key. Don't listen to that man, everyone. Right, so now what we need to do is choose adult and then validate it. So, of course, the bottom left picture there of John has been scribbled out, so we need to turn it to adult and then validate that. I guess I'll keep waiting for my sound. Go for it! So we just pick locked our way into John's room. Didn't seem to be a lot in there. Um, but this is the last one, the last guest. So again, conversation, uh, see the key words which he says, and then we're going to use that to finish the profile in. Let me think. Yeah. yeah, there was a guy. I didn't talk to him. Seemed like he wasn't the kind for chit-chat. Oh, had a squarish face, real macho. Know what I mean? There. Or almost finish the profile as it were. So what we're going to do then, we're going to choose square face. So again, just make sure that that is the one that is correct. So the bottom left picture of John there is still visible and then validate it. And then what we're going to do from here, turn directly to your left. Basically doing a 360 to head up the stairs. Um, these next two rooms, or the next couple of rooms, sorry, are vacant. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to... I had, Dirty, dirty, dirty pigs. Dirty pigs. Dirty hotel room knocking about. Uh, but anyway, okay, so the very left one wasn't um, done. It <laughs> wasn't empty, but the other two were. So we're going to speak to this brown ski. And again, it's the same sort of thing. We're going to speak to him. This palace is my home. Big guy. Had a beard too, but I didn't talk to him. Does that help you? Sure is. The results will be fabricated. They always are. But this time, it won't matter. The tide has finally turned. Right, so he knows he's got a beard, so that's the option we're going to choose then. Choose beard. Beard. Validate that, and then what we're going to do is head back down the stairs, go to room 007. The receptionist is going to give us a little chat as well. Um, so what we're, what we're actually going to say to... There is a specific dialogue option that we're going to say... Uh, don't worry about speaking to any of these guys. Um, we, we've basically done now with the profiling. No. You sure Sheila didn't put you up to this? Hey, I know what you're doing. Are you sure you want to do this? So, 
honestly, this is the best way to do it. Because if we lie to Fanny Rash right now, um, I believe that John ends up getting caught out and that messes him up uh, a little bit later on. So, even though you don't want to do it, we are going to not lie to Big Fanny. So we're going to keep your results. That is the option that you're going to choose. Keep your results. And we are going to choose not to lie to Officer Rashbag. Get in here, quick! Flip me! But we'll need to see if this matches the other leads. What do you mean what will happen? Prison. This person plays an important role in a terrorist organization. We don't take that lightly. You there, ex-mom? Hold on. I gotta take this. Ex-mom, I just stole the game I made. That's wonderful, baby. You're still being careful out there, right? Don't start, please. Sorry. So, how is your search going? My search? Oh, really well. Yeah, uh, I'm finding out a lot about my bio parents. They were, uh, really impressive people. Smart, kind. I think of a lot like them. Oh. Well, I'm glad to hear it. You are smart and kind. See, boys, all's well that ends well. Yes. I gotta go. I'll call you soon, okay? Take care of yourself, honey. I will. Bye. Bye. What was all that racket? How people ever get any R&R &R in places like this is beyond me. Well, thanks for your help, but I gotta clean up here. Say, have I seen you someplace before? Hmm. Anyway, take this. It's not a lot, but you deserve it. For your help. Take care of yourself, okay? The roads can be mean. Now then, for me, I am going to get the cassette collectible achievement right now because the final one here is in the car for me. So again, hopefully, obviously you will be either close to it or you've already got it by now, whatever it is. So have a look in the glove box. I turn around, we take the cassette. That is that for me. Now, when I have, because I've got 18 out of 18 cassettes, no more will appear for me in every level. So. If we're going through each level now and you're thinking, oh Jesus, that, uh, oh, I haven't seen a tape for a while, that's because I've collected them all, so no more is going to appear for me. So don't worry, if you still haven't collected them all, um, every time, every level you go in, you are going to eventually find some more and more. Supporters, members of the brigades. Tune in later to hear more. That's right, it's me, your beloved Sonia. Listen, I've had a little limo crash. Would you be a doll and give me a ride to a payphone? Thanks, hun. Adam, the kid's gonna give me a ride. You think about what you done. Let me drive the limo when I asked. Ha, huh, big mistake. Bad, Adam, bad. Now, come on, ain't got all day. I'm goddamn Sonia Sanchez. 
You actually drive this dump on wheels? I mean, it's nice. Real lived in. Thanks, hun. It's an honor to meet you, too. Uh, did you know there's a, 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 a burger back here? I'm gonna put it next to you. Try not to eat my- This will always be a kind of dream of mine as well. Eating a sort of half-eaten already burger in front of a rich celebrity or something or other. Th that'll be a pretty damn good dream. Um, there's <laughs> some, you know, I don't dream very big apparently. Whatever. Ask me a question, hun. I know you're burning too. Those brigades are probably up to something. What about you, honey? Planning on being at the for the big day? Oh, Jesus. Another political team? So, honey bunny. How much do you love my show? That's a good team. Well, sparkling as your conversation may be, you're boring me, sugar pie. But I have an idea to liven this hearse up. Dance party! Good. Now find some music on that junk radio of yours. So for this little tiny minigame, all we gotta do is just go to the left and to the right until we find one song and she'll go, Oh my god, this is the round. Or something around there. You kidding me? Wait for it. Ah! <laughs> what a stupid butthole! She fell out, hilarious. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it to be knocked by a pole, actually. Fair play, though, she's still banging on. you to be honest is this even your car I thought so relax sugar I haven't had this much fun in so long look at that reminds me of my past. Saw my brothers recently. It'd been ages. Made me realize how much I missed spending time with them. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. It is sometimes, but I'm not sure that's an excuse. But thanks for saying that. It's sweet. Look! A phone booth! Stop the goddamn car! And it looked like you were just about out of gas. Nice meeting you too. And thanks for the ride. I don't know where you're heading, sweet pea. But good luck getting there. 
Too young to die, too young to cry, too young to eat a cream pie. Again, the, the, the pie that, you know, like steak and kidney and stuff. And yeah. So, uh, what we're going to do then, we're not going to go into the building straight away, but we're going to go to the right of this building. And if we go just around here, there's going to be a little door. And if we have the pick lock ability, you can get in there and open that up. We're going to take, <laughs> take a couple of quid. And we're also going to eventually take these car keys as well. You can have a look at the note as well. Um, uh, the code, we don't have to... Uh, right, the code, I'm not sure. Sorry, because we've got the hack ability. I just, act, I just took, obviously, what we could find. But the code, I believe, is probably on one of those pieces of papers that you can find. So, uh, if, if you do desperately need the money that bad. So, you don't actually have to speak to John here. What you need to do is... Oh, man. Oh. Oh, god damn, John. Oh, okay. So, what we're going to do then, uh, after listening to all that, we are going to go in here. We're going to speak to the old Ginga man right here. And then we're going to head back out and speak to Jonish. I heard things about him. Shady things. Actually, yeah. Backup security for Tyrak. To ensure his victory, you know what I mean? Now get out of here before I call the cops. Listen to me now. Listen to me, Robert. You asked a kid to make you a bomb. Are you stupid? If anything happens to him, I'm coming for you. Got me? Kid, it's me. Can we talk? No, no. Listen, please. You don't want to do that. I know what I promised you, but you can't do that. Please, listen! Hello? Hello? Oh, God damn it! God! Ah, ah. What are you looking at? Young blood, come over here. Listen, sorry I yelled at you earlier. I was just uh, angry at myself. Anyway, I feel better now that I've eaten a little something. Well, when I get emotional, I eat. What can I say? I did. Makes me sick, them saying the brigades did it. And what about you? What do you think? Maybe there are more important things than politics. Hey, I got all this food. Eat something. Hey, feeling better? Still look like you've run a marathon in the desert. I got an idea. Why don't you catch up on some Z's in my rig? Yeah. Hey, it's time to wake up, young bud. Sorry to wake you like this. Uh, how'd you sleep? Glad to hear it. 
So then, all we gotta do, after accepting a stranger's um, uh, invitation to sleep in his truck, you know, a big bad bear looking stranger, we're gonna interact with a couple of pictures here just to get the conversation rolling, and then what's gonna happen is, we're gonna start talking to Alex on the radio. Now again, you will have you do have to choose the dialogue options that I choose, so that Alex basically doesn't build the bomb. That's what all this is about. Uh, so if you don't want Alex to build the bomb, just make sure to choose the dialogue options that I do. Kid doesn't know what it's for, but Robert wants to use it on the cops. That's what he does, uses kids. Did the same thing with a girl named Lola in 86. Listen, I hate to ask this, but I need your help. Thanks, kid. Kid won't listen to me, but maybe he'd listen if you gave him a call on the CB. I don't know. But be honest, and don't speak down to him. We gotta get him to step away from Robert and the bomb. A lot of people could get hurt if we don't. Thank you, young blood. The CB is in front of you. I told you, John, I don't want to talk. Who is this? Oh. He's there, isn't he? Man! I knew it! Homegirl, I don't want to be rude, but why are we talking? I see. He told you what I was doing for Robert then? Look, I don't see where this discussion is going. I'm about to hang up. Please, don't lose him, young bud. Why? Yeah, of course. But sometimes, people need to be hurt for a good cause. You know what Tyrax doing to teens, homegirl. Yeah, one day I'm gonna start my own company, yo. Look, I don't got much time. I promise Robert results. Don't do it, kid. You don't want blood on your hands. Believe me, I know. I just want info on my parents. No one will tell me anything. Uh, I don't know where to start. Naomi and Steven. Those were your parents' names. Naomi and Steven? What you did? That hurt me, John. We had a deal. I trusted you. I know. I'm sorry, kid. Please forgive me. I want to know more. But not like this. Can we meet soon? And you'll tell me everything. I mean, if John had just told him uh, his parents' info to begin with, then this wouldn't have happened. So you can either choose the three dots, or there is another conversation with Alex you can do as well. Luckily, I thought I messed it up, but luckily, as long as you chose the, uh, the same dialogue options I did, Alex will not build a bomb for the Brigades. Thank you, young blood. He's safe now, thanks to you. Sorry, saving up for an infinity pool.
Well, well, welly, 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 welly. Welly, welly, welly. Here we are then, row 96 for the final time. And if you haven't died yet, you will get the old pro achievement for reaching row 96 for the sixth time. That's of course if you haven't died. So we're going to go straight to the right. And obviously we're going to be going through the waterfalls and everything. And there it is, so nipping through, and then of course straight through the cave, doing the same thing that we've done so far. Hands where I can see him now! You're under arrest! Wow! So, you're going to speak to Max here. Um, again, it's just going to be the same stuff, really. Nothing else is going to happen for the time being. I mean, stuff's going to start going down big time, but, you know. But it should come back soon. Someone recognized me from a poster. It was always a long shot, but I tried. We don't. We wait until we're sent to the pits. Won't be long now. Your friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet. What are 
you doing? John! It's not what you think! Robert got someone to make the bomb using my blueprints! I'm trying to disarm it, but it's not working! So then, this is basically the final sort of act of the game for Road... Well, for Road 96, anyway. And before we can do New Game Plus and all that jazz. So, uh, you can just say, what codes did he try? And then, uh, uh, Big John there, who is fingerless, which uh, is not not, not going to be good for his missus, is it, really? Uh, so, we're going to try 6682, and that is exactly the one that it does. And then a whole big cutscene is going to play out for the next few minutes. And it's all going to kick off and go nuts. Hopefully, though, in a good way, as long as you've been following the sort of guide and the levels, hopefully in a good way for you. My... my birthday? Your mom and dad, Alex. Naomi and Steven. They built it and used the most important day of their lives as the code. We were going to use it, but there was a problem at the last moment. That's when Connie and I tried to take Tyrak out of the truck. We'd worked too hard to come up empty-handed, but we missed. And Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes. And Connie. And so many others that day. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you. Push you to build the bomb. And... I didn't want you to hate me. Hate you? If I had killed Tyrak, your parents would still be alive. They made their choices, Mr. Yu. They put themselves in that position. That's not on you. Thanks for saying that, kid. Now come on, let's... Uh, uh, Don't move! Hands up and turn around, slowly. It's you, the transmitter guy. Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex. That voice. Wait. Papa Bear? Oh, no! You know each other? Yeah. Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. Love. Yeah. Love. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Listen, I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus were gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. Alex, I told you, get out of here. Listen to your mom. So, how do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades. For info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. It's true, Mom. John wasn't using me. He was trying to protect me. Look, I screwed up. I became a part of something that turned bad. Not a day goes by that I don't regret it. But I'm a different person now. I want to be with you. I'm a cop, and you're a wanted criminal. Forgive me, but I don't see how that could work. Mom, look around. Things are happening. Change is happening. Give John another chance. He screwed up, but we all make mistakes. You, for instance. Me? Yeah, I mean, come on, Mom. You know what Tyrek is doing to teens. I... I do. Yes. You really want to keep working for a government that does that? No. I haven't wanted to do my job for a long time now. But I did it. For you. Well, you no longer have to, Mom! Now please, lower your gun! Cross together. There's nothing keeping us here. We can leave. Mom, what do you think? Kid, you can come if you want. 
supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigade. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? So you've got a choice, doesn't matter for any achievements or anything, so you can either escape with John and that, or you can join the fight and that. Um, so if you want to see, like I, I end up joining the fight here, so you can see what the, the end cutscene is going to be if you wanted to escape and see what that cutscene is going to be. Otherwise, you know, well, life would be good. Finally, for the teens. Now might be a good time to go, sir. The uprising that started that day spread to most of Petria, ensuring a fair, democratic election. Floris won by a landslide and promised to repeal much of what Tyrak had done. Tyrak was arrested and tried for his crimes. The iron pits were closed and the wall came down as well. Though it's far too early to tell what I don't know about you, Zoe, but um, I don't know how you can talk about your country and if there's a future, because, girl, you ain't going to be in it. Girl, you dead as hell. But with that, ba-dung. So, Border Master, that should be your 12th out of 12th achievement. Um, providing, of course, that you've gone through all the levels and done all the same stuff that I have. Like, like I said, eventually, even if you die a couple of times, you will get to this point anyway. So it's not like um, any of those achievements are sort of missable and stuff like that. Uh, but there we go then, guys and gals. So, um, yeah, that was uh, Road 96. So it is a long one, but it is a fun one. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope the levels helped as well. Again, I do apologize if there are some levels that are missing. Please let me know in the comment section below if there are. As we can see, as soon as you go back, you've got New Game Plus to go on to, which carries all of your stuff over. Uh, so you don't have to go through it all again. So we've got all of your abilities, all the story-related progressions right there on the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, so I think there were a few that I did miss. There's two which I managed to grab on the bounce right here, which is what I'm going to be showing you. But the re uh, again, I don't know if it's one or two more I'm missing after that. Again, so I do apologize about that, but I hope it didn't you know, deviate too much off the guide, and I hope that the guide did help anyway for the levels that you were, were able to uh, grab. But there we go then, guys and gals. So I'm just going to leave you here with the final two levels. They're very, very easy. It's, again, just a lot of dialogue options going on. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I will see you in the next Game Pass game. Big love. Sorry, forgot you were back there. So where are we headed today with Happy Taxi? Then just north it is. Now sit back and enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi.
that belonged to the last customer. He left that behind too. I can see why you would say that. Not a lot gets by you, I can tell. By the way, everything I'm telling you is the truth. We're called Happy Taxi, but we could be called Honest Taxi, too. Maybe you have some questions about the road. I can help you with those. that for a home project. You shouldn't be this close to me. That's not for your eyes. Enough. Now sit back and stay seated. Enjoy your ride with Happy Taxi. No. Sorry, I didn't. Turn the music up now. Do you like dinosaurs? I don't think so. Did you say something? Oh, I see. and Einstein here is gonna fix it. Help me a sec, homie. I got a bug I need to fix. Mr. Ursus isn't hearing me well. If I leave the booth, he'll hang up. I know it. Who are you talking to? Don't sweat it, Mr. Yu. It's just a hitchhiker. Take this computer. I put a metal detector on it. Check the ground near the pole over there. Should be some hidden keys to open the box and reboot the line. Petra Calm hides their keys like a dog hides a bone.
The key should be somewhere near the pole. The key should be somewhere near the pole. Nice find, dog! Let the beeping guide you. Nice! Now open the box to reboot the line. Pretty dope metal detector, right? Thanks, dog. You hear me now? I do, yeah. So, as I was gonna say, the fake emitters are all in place. Should keep those pigs busy for a while. Thanks, Alex. Ding, ding, ding. You win a chicken dinner, homie. I gotta run, Alex. Wait. Wait, my parents! Sorry, kid. Now's not the time. We'll talk soon, okay? Promise. Don't hang up! Home slice. Press the button again. Hello? Too late. He's gone. Just a little frustrated. I'm looking for info on my bio parents. And they died when I was young, in the attack in 86. But I haven't come up with much. Thanks. My mom, I mean my adoptive mom, said I might not find out anything, but I didn't believe her. She's at home or on the road doing her job. Come on, let's wait out the rain in the booth. I used to call her every week, but it's been a while, yeah. I guess you're right. Precinct 22, Officer Fanny. Hello? Alex? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Is everything okay? What do I say? Everything's fine. I just wanted to check in. Are you getting enough to eat? You are, right? And you can come back whenever you want. You know that. Yeah, I'm getting enough to eat. Thanks. I... I hope you find what you're looking for. I miss you, Alex. I... I miss you too. Look. I should go. Oh, already? I'll call again soon. I promise. I love you. Bye. Bye, baby. Come on. It's cramped in here. I feel better now. Thanks for encouraging me to call. Yeah. Be careful with what you eat. Try to avoid rotting food. But, you know, beggars can't always be choosers and all that. True, true. 
I still have a few things to clean up around here. By the way, there's a cereal bar in my bag if you want. You look hungry. Suit yourself, home slice. And good luck on your journey, man. Hope you reach 96. you know that both of you oh please almost a hundred percent of those are forged you have no idea peach fuzz these roads will eat you alive from where she found you. Must be a hub back there. Careful, man. Yeah, but that's behind me now. Sounds lame, but I can't wait to sleep in my own bed. Hey, what are you talking about back there? You can call your parents from the nearest station, okay? They'll come and get you. Be real careful with what you say next, understand? So far, you haven't committed a crime. Actually, I'd welcome a little chit-chat, kid. My job can be awfully quiet. most of the time. It's just like any other profession. You got your good apples, and you got your bad ones. That's because I am. All units, we have a code 10. Brigade radio communication in progress. The source is coming from somewhere just off Route 42. Over. Today's my lucky day. I'm gonna finally find this brigade transmitter. Unit two here. I'm northbound of 42. Over. What? You sure? You holding out on me? Papa Bear to Mama Bear. You copy? Now's not a good time, Papa Bear. I got two kids in the car. Over. Where are you? You okay? You sound worried. Just stay off Route 42, okay? Promise me, Mama Bear. You broke up. Papa Bear, you still there? Is it me? Or is that billboard ahead?
still think you had something to do with this. <laughs> <laughs>